everybody. It's the after show 42 minutes later, although it takes us about an hour to get to it usually because, well, we can tell time. We just don't give a shit. <laughs> it's right. And you know, what are you going to do? Yeah. So, so we got Skits Crasher in tonight. And as you can see there on the screen, we ah! have, yeah, we have developed the ability to make fireworks work in outer space. So, congratulate us. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, that's how good we are. It's all the Starlink satellites blowing up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Or We're colliding shooting. with all the space junk. <laughs> yeah, any yeah. one of them that transmits to Russia <laughs> gets shot down. Yeah. <laughs> mm. uh, so how are you doing out there? But more importantly, our hey. what? I, well, I just got to say, uh, I noticed. I noticed in the show we've got twenty-two likes already before the show even started. So make sure you give them some quality product tonight, please, Dick. Oh, I thought you were going to say make sure you don't take them away as the quality goes down <laughs> or something. Yeah, that can happen. Yeah, well, it's it's doing it right now. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, let's see here. Any what's the holidays coming up? We got spring break going on for kids, right? So parents everywhere are sad that they have to actually deal with these little shits. And uh, you know how y'all dealing with that? <laughs> you know when I, when I was uh, actually it was funny. I was just talking to uh, to a friend about this today. Like when when I went to university, like when I grew up, I was like I was expecting you know parties and you know strippers and we have all this you know crazy stuff. And yeah, you know, I went you know granted I got to university a little bit late, but when I was there, like this this is this is nothing like I expected. Like Hollywood, you lied to me. <laughs> when, 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 when you say you got to university late, you mean like eleven o'clock in the morning? Or like, like, like that too. Years too late. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, not until my mid twenties. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, not exactly the the movie with uh, jocks and nerds and beautiful babes everywhere and stuff, right? <laughs> Although, in, in funny true story, um, part of my uh, the the club I was in, the physics club, right? To to maintain your charter, you had to do community service, and we chose to uh, give students rides to and from like their parties and things like that, so they don't get drunk and drink and drive and hurt each other. So, like. I was sitting, you know, driving uh, with my, uh, you know, partner in the car with me, because uh, you know, just in case. Yeah. And you know, like just, just three young ladies wearing togas, you know, get in the car. And like, I'm like, I, 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 that part I thought was just in movies. Like, <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah, that's when you reach into the glove box and go, oh yeah, I've got the after party. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, it's really funny. Is before I was going to university. Uh, um, uh, my 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 mum was still alive. She she died before I went, but um, I'd, I'd accidentally left uh, my brother's copy, his bootleg copy of Animal House, in the video recorder or the video player at home, and my mum discovered it, and she like went fucking nuts on me. She says, "That's not what university is all about." <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think That's I think funny. I think I think that unfortunately it was also uh, paused at the point where uh, you know um, Bluto was looking into the uh, girls' dorm rooms. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well. So, yeah. That's that's pull the that, pecker through. Well, <laughs> yeah. Did, does anybody here remember the the game Night Trap from the early full motion video game days of like Sega CD and stuff? Night mm -hmm. Trap was based on that scene. It's just girls in their underwear running around a house, and you're like voyeuring them on a camera, supposedly <laughs> trying to help. It's just unbelievable. Mm. It's awful too. It's terrible. <laughs> Quality gaming. Oh yeah, yeah. They must have spent hundreds of dollars on that <laughs> and, and tens of hours yeah yeah exactly yeah yeah it's rough though <laughs> i was just watching a thing on it recently it was pretty funny you know because in the beginning the girl's sitting there talking to you right and then there's a cut and there's a camera angle change and now her jacket's off and she's sitting there in a bra because that makes sense <laughs> Right. But then for the rest of the movie, it's all photos with their audio over top. Like it's not even video. The oh no, that's the other one. Um plumbers don't wear ties. Yeah, that one was really bad. It's probably the worst video game ever made. Even worse than um 
uh, Pac-Man on Atari. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, plumbers don't wear ties. The guy's mum calls him in the beginning of the video game and gives him crap because he's not married yet. So he literally hits on the first chick he sees in a parking lot. Figures, okay, there we go, right? Yeah. <laughs> Fair. It's really weird. Yeah. I can't remember. Do the Mario Brothers wear ties? Not after that video game came out. No, they, they, are, they are. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Like, yeah. They had to like retro, like retro arc it or whatever. Like, no, take off that tie, Luigi. <laughs> Plumbers don't wear ties. I'm watching you. Yeah, it was very bad. Very bad. Um, what, uh, what video games uh, do you remember as being like horrible dunk from like the UK? Because you guys probably had shit we didn't, and so on. Actually, I know you did, right? You know? uh, well, yeah, well, most of it I wrote. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I don't. I don't really recall. I mean, the video game. I mean, because I was on Mesonic Spectrum, so uh, yeah, we did have like video games, but that was all the rich kids had those, and it was I didn't have really see video games until. Uh, to look up with spectrum apart from like things like pong and tennis and you know the the typical kind of like you know uh, it wasn't even a, isn't it, i suppose that's that's more of a video game than a computer game isn't it because that's a true video game because it was using video signals as yeah. opposed to a digital pong and all those are tr are truly the first generation of video consoles before cartridges mm. right those yeah. pong systems fuck i had three or four of them because my father was the import purchasing agent for a real, or a, uh, what are they called? A department store chain in Canada at the time. So everybody used to send him stuff to kiss his ass to get it into the store. And I got all that stuff. Just uh, here, you know, try that. See if you like it. No, this sucks. Well, I'm not buying it then. <laughs> As a fucking but my product son tester. Will play with it for yeah, a while. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Mm. Yeah, no, you, yeah, yeah. That was, that was a great, great upbringing for you. Yeah, it was awesome. You know, doing that, you know. Yeah, and and they promoted my musical thing, so I got to grow up being a nerd who didn't look like one. And in the eighties, that was important, right? <laughs> no, being a nerd yeah. is cool yeah. now. Not so much back then. I still look like a nerd. Hence the avatar. <laughs> Uh, oh, uh, Yana from Project Constantine. I showed her that upcoming uh, new layout we're going to be using on the show. And she said that we're going to have to redo your avatar to be a bee, but with the face still. <laughs> can you still be green? What, you, yeah. what you, mean, you want me to have plastic surgery? No, no, <laughs> mate. I'll do it. We don't need plastic. <laughs> <laughs> we've seen what you can do with plastic yeah but i i figured we would take uh the uh jerry seinfeld b from the b movie and just put your face on it the way oh, you've done to God, yoda please <laughs> uh, how jerry dare seinfeld's you character, like... <laughs> oh man that movie was awful <laughs> it truly was a b movie <laughs> uh, good call uh, but, but uh, one one terrible video game I remember from my childhood, and I I can't believe I I actually rented it. I, it was I believe I, I can't remember if it was for the Nintendo or the Super Nintendo, but you know pretty pretty early generation stuff. But it was Where's Waldo? Oh my God! It was You've literally got to be kidding me. You spent the money on that shit? Like everything mm. was just a pixel, so you couldn't <laughs> tell anyway. So you're like. <laughs> yeah. No. And she's just randomly clicking on the screen until something happens. But yeah. I'm like, wow, I, 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 I spent five or whatever it was back then on this. I, oh. Yeah. Heidi High says Donkey Kong, still one of my favorite games of all time. Yeah, we're looking, for, we're looking for the worst, the worst. Yeah. I mean, the, <laughs> the, uh, the, the classic worst one was the E.T. game, wasn't it? Where they uh, ended up burying millions yeah. of the cartridges in the yeah, desert somewhere that story is not just about et if it's truly to be told properly they buried a lot of cartridges right mm. yeah um, archaeologists one day are going to find those and like oh people oh, no, they've already them. found them they've already <laughs> oh, yeah. dug them up yeah 
Yeah. Probably worth something now. Oh, yeah. A whole bunch of nerds that look like Yoda here. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny you should say they must be worth something now. Still, nobody's buying them. <laughs> Yeah, they thought they were going to make all the money back from renting diggers and all this stuff yeah. and getting permits and whatnot from the auctions. And people are like, 10 bucks, 10 bucks. I mean, yeah. it's a crushed yeah. cartridge. It came yeah, out is, of the dirt. It, you know? Well, the thing, is, the thing is, they read the reviews. Like, well, I'm not playing that bloody, <laughs> <Yeah>. that bloody <laughs> game. Exactly. <laughs> it's, crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's buried for a reason. Yeah. yeah. Put it back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, hey, okay, uh, here, hold on. Let me put skits on the screen for you all to see here. And uh, let, do you guys tell me this? You YouTubers that are into video games and stuff right now, doesn't he look like the angry video game nerd that's just been drinking a bit too much? <laughs> let me give you my real opinion about Sega CD. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome. Hey, we we uh, we should do the angrier video game nerd and get skits all <laughs> wasted and get them to, to record a rant. <laughs> On my way. Uh, well, you know, uh, since the angry video game nerd gave over writing and stuff to some team of YouTube people that you know charge you money for this stuff, the show isn't anywhere as good as it used to be. Man, you can just tell. You start making something about the money rather than just the the passion for that even yeah. if it is just silly video games and being a nerd you lose it shut yeah. up talking to which we got a super chat <laughs> <laughs> well time <laughs> it's all about the money 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 <laughs> what do we got here uh holly oblation is that right uh super chat in woohoo hey Woo. mine doesn't do anything fancy no Mine does, but you 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 gotta you gotta buy me drinks first. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, so here we go. Uh, NA NA has come in with the Joe Super Chat number. That is a human number. It's number. <laughs> Is six dollars and sixty six cents, and he says, "I got busted by my mom watching the movie Nine and a Half Weeks when I was twelve. I got my ass beat with a folded in half Hot Wheels track across my little butt." <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> yeah, and I bet when she was done, he asked for more. <laughs> Guaranteed, like she went and took like the VHS or whatever it was, and like I'm gonna go watch this now. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. That, that's no. my copy. I mean, where did you get that? Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, just having if fun I, with I you remember, there, N A N A. Thanks for the if super I, if chat. I remember, if I remember really? right, nine and a half weeks wasn't that sorted anyway, was it? I have no idea. I don't, I don't think remember. it was any more sorted than when Harry met Sally. You know, I think the worst thing that happened was the fake orgasm in the restaurant. You know. I don't know. Nine and a half weeks is just one of those movies that I was probably forced to watch on a date. And because we never went any further, I don't remember the movie. Mm. <laughs> just, just, <laughs> Fair. <laughs> yeah. No idea. <laughs> yeah, good job. It wasn't we all 50 Shades of Grey. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm not doing that. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> Mine's Schindler's List. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a hard wank. <laughs> challenging challenging <laughs> very challenging uh, not for those who like a thicker partner oh my God. Uh, well it does it does say on the back of the dvd uh make sure you got a box of tissues oh my god <laughs> <laughs> oh dude <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there goes those lights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm doing. Oh, hold on, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. And now for something completely different. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, 
so uh yeah remember uh before the show there dunk i was saying i was gonna grab a two pack of tall cans or something yeah i had a moment of prophecy and i was shown a vision and i knew that i would not get through this night with it without at least eight cans <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah Hang on, so, hang on, hang on. The prophet is talking. Beep, beep, beep. I can hear the beer tanker pulling up to your door. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. Oh, dude, if only. I wouldn't have to, you know, bother walking across the street. And, you know. Some people have propane tanks. You know, yeah, he's yeah. got a beer tank. I, I should have, like, an actual active yeast tap right here at my desk and have some cat that comes over and cleans the pipes and everything for me. You know, that's... You, well, got a, you, you got a yeast trap right between your legs. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Video no, is great. I can smell it from here. Yeah. No, sir, we don't accept hot dog buns in this hotel. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Cost extra. I don't know if anybody noticed here, but uh, notice the little figurines there on top of the fish tank. Does anybody, mm. can you tell by the silhouettes what they are? Uh, here, uh, uh, Tide skits. Fire, X Wing. Yeah, skits. It's not fair for you. Let me turn up the bit rate of the room so you get a better, clearer picture. Here. Oh, uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my, my, hold my on. Here, here let me zoom myself in. There we go. Okay. There you go. That's the wrong guy. You zoomed me in. Uh, okay. I'm not uh, as green got... as you think. Yeah. There's a, a there's a Imperial Walker, Next Wing, Tie Fighter, and uh, Rebel. Oh, Blockade those runner? figurines! I was looking at Woody. Oh. <laughs> you got an, uh, uh, from one side to the other. You got an X Wing, a Walker, uh, the 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 Snow Skipper, a Snow Speeder. Yeah, the Tie Fighter <laughs> and the Falcon. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh I didn't cool. see the Falcon at the end there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, it is kind of hidden there. In it. Yeah. We didn't know what to do with them because in order for my son to rearrange his room so his collection of vehicles that he's building now gets a, a coveted spot, but he still had room for the 42-inch television on his dresser and all that and whatnot, a few things had to be put aside, so I ended up with the Star Wars thingies. <laughs> yeah. The, the the bases that they're standing on, you know, those clearly obvious bases? Yeah, they're supposed to be see-through. Yeah. Yeah, it's not working so well. <laughs> eh, some of them aren't so bad, at least on, well, on the low res. <laughs> the, the TIE Fighter, it seems to be working yeah. on, but the yeah. X-Wing, it just, it, it the stand is as big as the body of the ship, you know? For real, for real. Yeah, that one's pretty It looks obvious. more like a vajazzle that just hooks on from the sides. Vajazzle. Yeah, just think downstairs. Pleasure zone. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> <laughs> well, Not yours. Yeah, yeah, you. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen a girl bejazzle herself with an X Wing. But dazzle, bejazzle? I plead the fifth. Oh, wait, I'm not American. Uh, there's got to be an equivalent. <laughs> I was just trying to think I'm of a small one here that can the <laughs> Yeah. Don't we have a fifth or a fourth or something? You know? Can I get out of this? Only in drugs. Oh, okay. Oh. I've got a magic jar. Oh, fish food. Not quite. <laughs> is it, is it all, the, all the fish are swimming upside down. Woohoo! <laughs> hey, there Yummy. you go. Yeah, that's some goopy goop that you put in a vapey vape or a smoky mm -hmm. smoke. Fist yeah. it! Hey, Dunk, are you going to do the sponsor message? Yeah, I thought I thought you were going to do it. I thought you got a jar of it just right there. <laughs> yeah, so, to, so tonight we bring you the, uh, the sponsorship for tonight's show is Fisted for that extra thick, creamy lubrication that you need to get through this show and all its hour and a half of stupid silliness. Uh, also sponsored by Anally's. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should have grabbed the tube. I don't have it here. Mm. Damn. <laughs> 
Uh, actually, it got used. I had to put in an order. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yeah. I'm kidding. You, you find you finally sure, grease the pans. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it wasn't me. Damn it! No, 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 no. It's somebody else. Oh, no. I swear. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. So, uh, <laughs> fuck that analese joke was funny. <laughs> Got to do that again. Got to do that again for sure. I uh, I notice every now and then that the exposure settings on my camera seem to reset. I get darker. I'm trying to. It's it's the this stupid webcam has an app, and the app has settings, so you can dial it in, and then it just decides for itself that you're wrong and it's going to redo it for you. I find that very helpful. <laughs> Just supersedes you. It's like, no, no, uh, no. Th th listen yeah. up now. This is how you're going to do it. Yeah. The only thing I've been able to do with it properly is get it to do manual focus so that when I start talking all Italian, it doesn't start doing that whole uh, 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 weird shit, you know? I don't like that. It makes me sick, so I can't imagine, you know. No, I don't right. like it either. Don't do it again. <laughs> yeah, Pasta Palace with Dick Dawson. Mm. Oh. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, so I've uh I've been uh, planning my uh, I have a trip coming up um in a couple weeks, about 3 weeks. Uh, I'm going to to Texas. Oh, no away. porn for you then. I was just going to say, yeah, you're going on a sabbatical, a sabbatical from <laughs> sabbatical. self sexual experience. Yeah, it's yeah. about right. Mm. But uh, like, yeah, going there for the eclipse. Uh, that's uh, coming through. Uh -huh. Is Texas, are you going to be in the path of totality then proper? Yep. Oh, absolutely. cool. Yeah. Cool. I, I uh, just ordered some uh, filters uh, to, you know, um, so I can at least record it on my phone. Well, yeah, dude, yeah. why don't we set it up and we live stream it? Oh, yeah, yeah. We could do something like that. That'd be really cool. See how many people we can blind in one fucking show, right? <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totes. So, yeah, I got a couple of different filters. Uh, let's ask. Travel, obviously, before uh, I get there. Let's ask everybody in the chat. You guys all want to have a few beers and do a live stream of uh, the eclipse through the actual path of totality? If you don't know what I mean, he's going to be in a place where it's not a partial eclipse. It's real. And if you look at the path of totality laid out on a map of the Earth, it's a skinny path. This is not a regular occurrence. It would be really cool to see. I saw it, I think, when I was nine years old in Vancouver in school, you know? And now, this one's special. It's going to have uh, nearly, or actually, about four minutes of complete totality. See, that is going to be badass. Huge. Let's do it, dude. Let's plan well, it out if you want. That'd be amazing. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, you got to think. You got to think about this. You got to find out about you know what time is it going to be because you know cares. If There's if, drugs if to keep you awake. If it's in the middle of the night, I'm not going to be able to watch it. Fair. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> there's dry wet and there's dumb shit. And I, I know they sound similar. <laughs> there's a yeah. fine line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I I always always throw that stupid question. You see this stupid no. question from Flat Earthers, you know, it's like, why is it I can see the moon during the day? And it says, Well yeah, so that's an interesting question, but why can't I see the sun at night? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Love it, love it. it it's really stumps them. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, they do that that dog thing. So yeah, uh, hopefully, um, uh, I'll have to, you know some decent uh, internet reception out there. Um, most of the path of totality is coming through some pretty rural areas. Is it? Uh, uh, yeah, which is actually, uh, Texas is going through a bit of a, a state of emergency because so many people are going to Texas for this and their, their infrastructure oh. is just not set up for this many people. Yeah. 
Well, we could always, you know, if it comes down to it, we could rent you like a personal hotspot for the visit, you know, or something, right? Just to try to get something better. And yeah. I mean, even if we have to bring it in at 720 or not 1080 to ensure and whatnot, you know, I mean, point. our our video, our, our rectangle on the screen, the big viewer, you know, that's only 720 anyway at best, right? You know? Okay. Yeah. 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 So I mean, we're definitely worth giving it a shot, and uh, yeah, I'll uh, work with uh, that'd be CF, great uh, beforehand to like you know do some dry runs to make sure I know know what I'm doing. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I've well, I've just checked Google Maps, and there are actually some personal hotspots in Texas. They're on street corners for strange some strange reason. Wow. Uh, just just ask for a guy called Shabon, and he'll sort you out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, amazing set of tits for a dude with a beard. <laughs> It's Texas. <laughs> it's Texas. <laughs> Everything's bigger in Texas. As is tradition. <laughs> Stars at night are big and bright. <laughs> oh, yeah. if there, if there they was... don't have no lady boys out in Texas. They're just boys. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, you know what, dude? We have to change your username to one step too far. <laughs> one step. The, yeah, your one. favorite Mexican. <laughs> hey, I don't hey, know. I like Jesus. You got El another, Savior uh... Christ. You got another super chat. <laughs> well, oh, yeah, we do. We do. We have another super chat. And it has a number. It's number. <clears throat> Is six dollars and sixty six cents. I'm not going to do the funny voice this time. <laughs> <laughs> what funny voice? Uh, oh, actually, I have to. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sick with a cold, so no smoking. It hurts. <laughs> so Aww. I had some edibles. Woo! -hoo! I took the day off for the eclipse. I'm going to Vermont to get a good view. Oh nice. yeah, and a and a. Good shout. Good shout. Awesome. Right on. Hey, maybe, uh, maybe NANA, -A -A, if you're going to be in a path of good view, you might want to send us a stream video through uh, our video platform as well. You don't have to talk or anything if you don't want to. You know, that's fine. But maybe we could get a couple people and we could get a few different angles and stuff on there this. Right? Would it be at the same time? No. <laughs> And, and and thank you, something blonde, for getting it. Uh, like, okay. Deep in the heart of Texas. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Dunk, you're making this hard, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's what well, she said. <laughs> well, it'd be at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like I'm gonna be uh, <laughs> somewhere between. I think it's uh, Waco and. Or at least a hotel. It's a little, it's a little podunk town that we're staying. It's the only place I can find a hotel, even on six months. Like heads up, like everything was already sold out. Mm. So I found some podunk. You know, it, in, even if I'd never let, didn't leave the hotel, I'd still have three minutes of totality. But we're gonna try to get to where it's you know the most I can possibly get. But yeah, it, it's yeah, it's gonna be crazy. Yeah, and, like, yeah, somewhere between Waco and and we're, I'm taking a road trip down there, so I'm gonna you know go through Death Valley, and it's gonna be a nice little. Fun That'd thing. be awesome. That's awesome. There's some seriously good driving in Death Valley and stuff. And, and you, you, you do you, you do realize you're going to be uh, pronounced a witch? You know, like, <laughs> witch? Really? Uh, he weighs the same as a duck. <laughs> Big duck. Mm. <laughs> oh. Therefore. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was for for a time looking. I was like, oh man, maybe that road trip is kind of a long thing. Maybe I'll you know catch a flight or yeah, you know, like, God no, <laughs> it's like fifteen hundred bucks a flight just just yeah in a Boeing. A yeah. Boeing? yeah, yeah, and Boeing? I bet I bet if it wasn't for this whole event that's going on, that same flight was four hundred bucks. Exactly, right? absolutely. If that, if that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four hundred Canadian, so about ninety bucks. Right, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Um, let me get a beer. Hold on, I'll be right back. Um, 
Again, it, yeah, I want to. Right, we can we can talk while you're gone. Go on, fuck off. Oh yeah, I'm. I'm <laughs> it's off. Oh, it feels so good the, knowing that fuck. you've got that. Um, mm. So, uh, Dunk's gonna get us canceled. I'm gonna get a beer. Be right back. Buzz, 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 buzz. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I think it would be quite cool to actually see an eclipse from a plane. It would be interesting. Yeah, because because you can see there's like the, the, all the weird interactions on the ground as it's happening. I don't know. Yeah, you wouldn't have like the uh, so much of the atmosphere to look through. Mm. Interesting. Uh. You see, Dick, we can be interesting without you being here. <laughs> he but said no. that to be nice. Did you not hear the tone <laughs> of voice? <laughs> but no, I've been I've been planning this uh, you know this trip for about three years now. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Wow, yeah. yeah. I've known it's been coming for a while and yeah. I've been wanting to do it and I I I I I'll I'll say this, um with airfares and all and so on, um all your planning, you didn't think to book that sooner? Just Well, just I wanted to do a road trip. <laughs> I'm uh, just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah, originally and then yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm I'm a road trip guy myself. I mean, I would drive from coast to coast in North America before flying if given the chance. I would, for sure. Fair, fair, yeah. No, no, it the, thing be a is, drive. the thing is, uh, you know, weather forecasters can't even predict the weather, like, you know, in like a week's time. And you've planned this like three years in advance. What if they got the prediction wrong? What, what happens if it happens a day later? <laughs> you missed it. Be pissed. Then but Einstein and weather. Stephen Hawking and Newton all <laughs> jump out of their graves. <laughs> you know, For real. Yeah. And Edmund mm. Halley, you know, leads the charge, right? You mm. know? Yeah, I, 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 although my luck being, it will be a stormy, rainy, cloudy day, and I will not see. Yeah. This oh, yeah. No. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Not maybe not in Texas. I don't know. It's yeah. always like baking hot out there. Yeah. <laughs> it is April, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That that would that would really suck, though. You know, it's, it's, like, it's like all the people that went out to see the uh, Starship launch. Um, the other day, and everything was like fog bound. So all the people that went out to see it just saw like a bright glow in the distance. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> disappear. Yeah, that's yeah. A, it might so as well be in a criminal running away from a bodega with a jar of pickles, right? Mm. You know, it's like it's like in the UK as well. You know, you get all these like um, you, know, you see all the predictions of you know a great meteor shower tonight. You know, at four o'clock in the god awful morning and so you wait up wait up to see it and of course it's clouds nothing with clouds it's what you know you can you can always predict you know whenever there's going to be something really interesting to see it's going to be clouds <laughs> it's just like pointless yeah yeah it, well first rule of astronomy you spend a bunch of money on a telescope Mm. And then every time you have a good evening where the kids are in the mood or they're at grandma's or blah, blah, it's cloudy. That's just how it happens. Well, I got a, a free Native American Indian with my telescope. So you could do a little dance whenever we get the uh, telescope out just to make sure we got clear skies. And <laughs> Oh, and I've just been kicked out of Canada. So that was good. Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> Dunk, you got some weird hum, almost like a weird thing going on in your mic right now. Do I? Is it just my voice? Yeah, no, no, it's more oh, than yeah. that. Yeah, here too. Yeah, it's mm. uh, tinnitus, shocking horror. Um, uh, I bet it's my uh, my uh, microphone doing that weird thing again. Yeah, yeah. There's that whole thing where everything's reverberating I've... through your pole. <laughs> You should stop licking your microphone. Um, <laughs> um, okay, here. Let me move it. Let me yeah, move it a bit. Mute yourself and figure it out. And I'm going to shout out Chuck Yazamaraz. We, oh, Razamataz. That's what we should rename Chuck. It's Chuck <laughs> Razamataz. You know, like the Nazareth song, right? The Beer Beer Fund. Oh, that gets a lot of booms. Let's see. I buy eight beer at a time, so that gets like 12 booms, just to make sure. Is that any better? Is it sorted now? No, it's still there. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, and CF with the five memberships. Nice. Oh, nice. I didn't even see that. Good shout, Skits. So hold on. 
CF Beauty, head moderator around here, the one that tells even us what to do, has gifted the heart and out. Soul. Yeah, she's gifted out five shills membership. So remember, if you're the newest member on the show, you get to pick up the tab. And I think that would be Shelly Winter. Shelly, you get the tab tonight. Thanks for joining the family. <laughs> <laughs> nice yeah <laughs> oh if only i could really do that you know wouldn't that be great <laughs> <laughs> uh if skits gets there and there isn't uh, an eclipse the earth is flat and pineapple belongs on pizza yeah yeah i i really hope there's an eclipse when i get there <laughs> the last one is correct but you have to do your pizza properly if you do go to Hawaii and you see a luau where they roast a pig and stuff, there's always pineapple. Pineapple and ham go together. So when you make a ham pizza, you can put pineapple on it. But you don't put pineapple on like a pepperoni and anchovy and mushroom pizza because you're a heretic evil fuck and you should be killed. <laughs> right? Now, now tell us how you really feel. Yeah, well, you just got to do these things proper. You know, that's how it is, right? But it works yeah. with ham. That's the thing, yeah. right? You know. Yeah, I mean, you know, when we when I make a ham, there's always pineapple there, you know, and right. You know, it, it's something about you know, like, it's 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 weird how the uh, not not just the acidity, but the um, enzymes, like it'll break down the proteins of the the meat and the cheese, and it makes it something kind of different. And, yep. Yeah. Yeah, and, and you can also slip it on your cock. You also uh, have to squeeze drain the pineapple, though. You can't have too much liquid from it. That's the problem with an all-veggie pizza. It just becomes a watery mess. Right? Fair. It's not greasy. It's actually watery. You know, the, the pizza has a crust. It's like the flat earth ice dome around the flat earth disc, right? The water can't escape. That's true. That's true. Yeah. yeah. yeah I used just... to work at a pizza shop and on a veggie heavy pizza, you would take the back of your knife before you put it in the oven and make a little dent in the, the, the crust somewhere. And then when we pulled the pizza out of the oven, you'd balance it on your thumbnails and the knife and just tip it up with that slit at the bottom. And all that veggie liquid would drain out. And when you handed somebody their veggie pizza upon delivery, it wasn't a soggy, disgusting mess. It was a lovely pizza still. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. My, my brother and I, uh, in the past, we'd, uh, you know, get pretty high and then we'd, uh, <laughs> you know, order from, a uh, Papa Murphy's. Yeah. The yeah. Take, the take and bake. Right. And we'd, we'd get so much stuff on there, like yeah. stupid amounts of stuff. Like I remember going in there and the manager came out and says, you know, this isn't going to cook like a pizza, right? Like you're going to have to like cook this like a casserole. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, just give me my pizza. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, my, yeah. And my eight servings of cheese. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I, I saw, I saw a video on, uh, I think it was on Twitter, um, the other day where someone was like, you know, making a pizza and <laughs> some kind of pizza re -re type thing. Big square thing. Oh, God, I can hear that fucking echo now. Um, it's still doing and, uh, it. You might have to restart your box after. I did. I just did. I oh, just did you? Fuck. Really? Oh, I'll just... Okay, anyway, keep going. Keep going. So, so put, yeah, the, yeah. So, they put shitloads of cheese on it. You just, like, a huge pile of cheese. And they got... Um, yeah, some kind of, like, catering bag of pepperoni uh, slices. Fried them up. And then just scoot them onto the pizza like two inches thick. Jesus! <laughs> and just like slip the whole thing into a into a you know delivery box, and it's like, oh no way! That ain't it's right. Disgusting. No, it's revolting. <coughs> oh, sorry, I didn't mute there. Damn it! <laughs> My foot switch is failing. <laughs> Damn it! I have to get a better foot switch. If uh, if you want to donate. I'm going to buy a bar fridge that sits under my desk just at the side to hold the beer, and I'm going to get a better foot switch that I can't kick across the room when I'm trying to step on. My foot switch is this horrific little plastic piece of garbage, and I need one of those weighted ones that's, like, actually good for a piano. You know what I mean? It doesn't work. Now, I tried taping it down. But then it gets all dusty, and when you're trying to sweep and mop around it, you have to peel it back up and... I'm not 
digging under. I'm not crawling under my own desk every three days to clean up, right? It can't happen, you know. That's what children are for. Oh. Not when they're on the spectrum, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just pro child labor. Oh. Yeah, well, so am I, except it didn't work out for me, you know? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah bme you're not wrong there the boss fs6 would be good yep something with a bit of girth you know i could probably get one used in my area for 20 or 30 bucks i wasn't kidding about fundraising i'm gonna i'll just get a better one you know we have members and everything it's fine <clears throat> does yeah. it sound any, any better yeah well um, I already put the noise cancel on you there at the end to to make it go away. So let me turn it off now and see if it worked. Any better? Do I sound? Yeah, there really you go. Good? Yeah. Do you know what I had yeah. to do? I had to put, uh, I put a sweatshirt over the top of my microphone boom. It 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 was the actual boom itself was re was uh, reverberating. Holy! Isn't that like defeat the purpose of the? Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, like yes. Yeah. I mean, my my setup at the minute is kind of like temporary. It's going to get worse in the next few days. But uh, you know, as we pull everything out of the house to get the carpet in, but you know, the, these mics that we have, the microphone cartridge itself is supported on a cushion of air inside, and it is its own shock mount for mm. those vibrations to be going through the stand, through the mic, and in. That means that your stand is worth about. I don't know, two thirds of a puddle of piss. <laughs> it's just that's funny. That's exactly how much it costs <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> on yeah. sale. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you, yeah. I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll see if we can find. I'll tell you what, an interesting thing about uh, you might be able to help me out on this one, Dick, because I've been in my new setup where it's going to be, I'm going to have like a cabinet, uh, you know, on the wall um, above my computer desk and everything. And I was thinking what I want. Is like a microphone boom arm that will come swing off of that, but mounted from underneath, so it would be screwed into the bottom of the cabinet, and then swing out from that. Can you find anything like that? Nope. But dude, why are you making this so hard? Just get the one that stands on the floor on its own. I don't. Yeah, you, yeah, you say that it would be in the middle of the bloody floor. And I, it would but just, but it, as soon as the show is done, you stand up, fold it up, and put it away. It's just not that difficult. Just saying. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, 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 neither, neither is a boom arm that would be just fucking right, you know. Neither is a boom arm covered and fisted if you don't make this easier. <laughs> <laughs> it, might, it, might, it might be that. Yeah. No, but, but the standalone one is the best. As soon as it's attached to something, it's susceptible to any vibration that goes through the floors and stuff and whatnot. And if anything syncs up and starts to synchronize, like, you know, the way a wind can blow a bridge down if it's not built properly and all that harmonic frequency balances, that's what's that, you know, harmonic and oscillations. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Thank you. And one of these boom arms, like I got has the three rubber feet and as such it's isolated and you just don't have that problem. And mine was, like twenty seven dollars Canadian, which is about six quid, right? Let's just get you one of these, and you can just fold it up and put away when you're done, right? Yeah, mine's just the one that clips to the desk, Whee! and that's exactly what I don't want him to get again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right? Because right now, if I start tapping my desk. The only way you can hear it is if it comes through the microphone. It can't go through the arm. It's impossible. It's not connected, yeah. right? Gotcha. Yeah, mine's a digital mic, so it might be a little different, I would imagine, right, versus your... Uh... It'd be worse, higher gain, because it's got an yeah, automatic yeah. USB gain, right? You can't low gain your mic and boost it in post. That's why I, think, I won't have a USB mic. I, I think I think one of the cases, in, in my case, the, the reason why it, the, the setup is slightly different, because... It's the mount I'm using to fit onto the wooden bench that I've got temporarily set up is not the right one. It's a it's one for a lamp as opposed to the microphone one because the microphone one won't open the jaws won't open up wide enough to clamp it. So it sounds yeah. like a job for operator Sharksky. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, we, I, I am. I am in a bit of a Heath Robinson kind of like uh, situation at the minute. Yeah, Heath Robinson. Be that means MacGyver, right? Yes. You know, make it with toothpicks and pl and pliers, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we, well, I am. Yeah. I, I am pretty much in that state at the minute. Yeah. Yeah, so let's just get you the good stand, and then that way, you I know. Don't, I, mean, I don't know. I don't think there would be a place for the stand. That's the problem because it would be in the wrong position. It would, it would be on the. Yeah, I, I'd, I'd have to show you my setup. It would another time. We'll just get another time because, uh, yeah. It okay. Just, it it it. There's not going to be a place for it because you want the, the you want the stand kind of in front of you, but no, you don't. They'll... Beside you. See, like well, this. <laughs> oh, he he needs like one of the like the old school ones that just dangle like a wire like like the WWF where just oh yeah yeah I want, one, I, want, I want one of those yeah yeah <laughs> let's get ready to fight no <laughs> no a monster truck rally <laughs> yeah that's what I want <laughs> oh yeah yeah I'll tell you what if I had one of those I'd wear a little dicky bow and, and a suit and everything. Be proper. <laughs> That'd be worth it. Big top hat. <laughs> Big, huge. Yeah, huge top hat. Uh, six foot. But then I would yeah. have to recenter you in your little circle. You know, don't do that. It's just all hat. Yeah. Yeah. He's doing this to make my life hard. It's, it's not like all, you know. all hat, all, all cock. <laughs> Of course, I, of course, I do this to make your life hard. Job hat, you know, penis, I do, everything, legs. I, do everything, I do everything else in your life to make your life easy. Every, no, come on, look, admit it. Everything in your life because of me is easy, apart from the shows. And this is the one time I get to make your life difficult. So it's actually allow, it's, allow me that. It's actually true because since he came into my world, my sex life is so much clearer. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, but, and, make and, an STD uh, joke. But. Well, no. Uh, again, we'd like to thank our sponsor tonight for Fisting for uh, helping Dick Dawson getting through his uh, weird sexual. Fisting. Five knuckle salute to Fisting. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we, we got we got some more super chats there, Dick. Oh, why don't you read them? I can't remember which ones they are. I mean, I'll, yeah, okay. Oh, we got we we got one from Mark Snyder. Uh, it says uh, three times sixty six dollars sixty six is nineteen ninety eight. Oh, hang on, the fucking shells dropped down, got in the way. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Uh, and I'll, I'll throw my two cents tents in worth for Felix. Yeah, for twenty bucks. Yeah. Thank you very much, Mark Snyder. Big shout, Mark. Big and, one. Uh, and we got Chuck Yamarats for five bucks. Says beer fixes every Perfect noise. And uh, turning the car stereo up. <laughs> oh, the car's stereo. That reminds me of uh, moving in stereo by the cars. Amazing tune. Good super chat. Love it very much. Uh, uh, I was gonna. I thought I had that song readily available to just play the intro for you. You know, maybe, yeah. No, that's Gary Newman. Yeah, I know, but I like that one. <laughs> I like that one better. <laughs> and I know it. <laughs> do, do I deserve anything for recognizing that was Gary Newman and yeah, not yeah. his ass yeah. just having a spasmatic no, moment? No, no, you know? no, no, well done. Yeah, hang on. Well done, well done, Dick. You know, you recognize. Was that both your hands or something else? <laughs> it was my seal in the background. <laughs> <laughs> I'll throw another pilchard. <laughs> uh, I must have hit the right notes for you to recognize it then. Name uh, that too. Uh, oh, some, yeah. Some of them. Some yeah, of them at I'm least. sure that's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm scarred for life now. Uh, uh, who's? Uh, it depends on who lives longer. <laughs> you be you. <laughs> yeah, I doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Who will die that's first? A, that's a, that's awesome. a, yeah, that's a challenge for tonight's show. Uh, we're going to keep on streaming till one of us dies. Oh, okay. <laughs> should I should have bought a yeah. twelve pack? <laughs> yeah, should have got more beer. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe not. Yeah, maybe a fifteen. I think they give you a discount after you go mm. over twelve. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I I ran across a 
a vet who who has a good sense of humor about his own mortality. Um, and he's an older guy, and he's like, "Listen up, guys, I, I don't even buy green bananas anymore." <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> <laughs> when, when, like, when, when you say he's a vet, uh, is does he like uh, administer health to animals, or was he a, <laughs> or a, a war veteran? Yeah, is he the guy that has a, a red forearm, or does he just put puppies to sleep? As it, as it, as he got jar of, jars of horse fisted. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, to our Next with sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> oh so um <laughs> you know i've been looking for the buffering sink uh the the symbol as like a, a a vinyl thing i could buy and put on the little sign there for the puppy just to say he's buffering you'll notice his one hand is in his lap now right i thought that <laughs> would be a funny joke but there's no way I could draw it on or do it. I can't even draw stick people properly, right? You know, you Jibber, download uh, it and cut it out. You know, yeah, that's what I'm gonna have there. to do. Mm. But I have to get an exacto knife and a ruler. Oh, <laughs> Jibber, get your light up sign uh, working right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I what I discovered is uh, crappy batteries keep it dull enough with a piece <laughs> of paper in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There. Yeah. So as so, God intended. Yeah. So we are we we have got a new fundraiser tonight to buy Dick an Exacto knife and a ruler. <laughs> I think I think that will probably come to around about ten bucks. So yeah. uh, let, well, let's ten the Canadian. So it's about eighty cents American yeah. or yeah. like so, you know, so, so, yeah, thirty five p. <laughs> what's the smallest super chat you can do? Is it like you know? Can you do like like five pence or something? <laughs> Even with Google and YouTube taking thirty percent, I'll still make off like a bandit. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I got to do that, though. It'd be funny. But I thought it would be even funnier if I did it like green screen superimposed style so that it's actually buffering, like moving, like, uh, you know, animated. Yeah, just, just stick an iPad up there, for God's sake. But why? I have a thing that looks like a chat. <laughs> like, you know, don't make things complicated. But, but. but. <laughs> <laughs> but i got that <laughs> yeah yeah that was that two bucks that, that, that was that two bucks yeah, yeah at the you dollar animated. store you know yeah you, you wouldn't animate you wouldn't animate i'm animated uh, enough yeah. <laughs> it was oh, but it'd be cool you know i mean i mean if you're gonna put something up there that's not real and you go green screen like, you don't even need to have that up you didn't need to spend two bucks. You could have done it entirely for free and just just had a, a green thing up. fabric. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but but it still wouldn't be all like look, look. You can see it's there. It's got <laughs> depth and shit, it. right? It's called visual effects. You tart, <laughs> tart. Mine is better than yours. Oh yeah. Who's who's got the Emmy? <laughs> Wow, he just slapped his dick on the table on yeah, that one. It, yeah. yeah, but it's, <laughs> it's about... It's and I'm about, rubbing the fist into it. It's about <laughs> fucking time. I have to be the one always to say, you know, Dunks, an Emmy Award-winning visual effects artist, you know. Finally, fuck. The guy puts his dick back in his pants and stands yeah. up to say something at the dinner party, you know. Oh, oh plus the two VES awards. Well. <laughs> see? Yeah, see? Yeah, yeah. The list is longer than you think. You know, longer than his pecker. <laughs> and a BAFTA nomination. Was that a backdoor affair? What was that? <laughs> I've had plenty of backdoor nominations. RuPaul nominated him as a receiver honorary position in the mm -hmm. NFL. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, in, in RuPaul's drag race, I was the finishing line. <laughs> The skits is Bye. looking at the bottle thinking, fuck, is that fucking full enough? I don't know. <laughs> I'll just bring this one over here. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Applause for skits in the chat. He's got bottles with yes. different colors. He's ready to go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and here's one I prepared earlier. Mark Snyder in the chat. Wide receiver or tight end? No, tight end was years ago, pal. <laughs> Hi-oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> He's just a free safety now. <laughs> Uh, can't even hear him no. when he farts. <laughs> yeah, there's no friction anymore, right? You know. <laughs> oh my god, that's awful. Uh, so, so dunk the the whole thing. I've always wanted to ask you this, and we never get to the topic. The whole I never thing, saw her. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't me. deny everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, nothing so sinister. Um, um, the whole the whole thing with British kids in their little school uniforms and stuff is that like all schools, or is that just like preppy little schools and stuff? Uh, are you asking for a friend? What are you pervert? What are you talking about? You're no, the but ge- the, the, the little girls in school uniforms. Uh, I, I, when yeah, thank girls for oh. little girls. <laughs> uh, 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 you, do- I, I love little girls. Oh. <laughs> Okay, this is okay, not an add- anime show. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, to answer, answer, answer your question seriously, in general, in general, uh, most schools, I suppose you call, I suppose you call them middle schools. Um, all the kids are in uniform. Even some, you know, ah. little little kids' schools, they would be in uniforms. Yeah, but, you know, very very simple stuff. But yeah, it's in 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 general, what, when you see like you know U.S. kids, you know, they're they're at high school, or whatever. You know, they just wear what they bloody wear what they want. In yeah. the UK, in the UK, they're generally wearing uniforms. Yeah, yeah. I always and, and, it, and it just causes it just causes fucking problems because you know you know you you're not you're not fitting that you're wearing the standardized uniform, so you get detention because you know oh you can't get it to fit. Oh yeah, you got to yeah, get the right yeah, one. Yeah, and it, you know, yeah, it, it, yeah, it causes a lot of problems. Sally, stop hiking your skirt. You know, <laughs> yeah, it, it 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 really does cause a lot of problems. There are there are good reasons for it because it stops. It's a, a potentially supposed to stop this kind of uh, schoolyard bullying between kids. You know, wearing you know certain things and right. you know, yeah. you've you you've got Nikes and you've got fucking yeah. dollar store shoes. Man, exactly. man. Yeah, if yeah. Everybody's wearing the same thing. Yeah, there's no yeah. one one yeah. less thing to bully about, as if they'll not find yeah, something but, but else. Exactly. But, 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 That's the whole point. It's not like it's is- gonna. It doesn't you know? make any difference because you find another thing to pull you exactly. about. Because, exactly. Because you, you got the kid. Yeah. You got the kid who turns up. He doesn't have the you know the Adidas sports bag. I you know I think I went to school with a Adidas. head a head uh, yeah. uh, uh, sports bag, which is which is still a brand, but it wasn't the right brand. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, uh, yeah you right. still you still get bullied over that, or you just yeah. just get bullied because you got more, more pencils in your uh, jacket pocket than you should have. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't I, make any difference. Did I, you have a pocket protector, Dunk? No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. I do. I, I no. do. I do. I do remember. I got. I got into a fight with. Him. I say a fight. He just grabbed me and dragged me in around the, the schoolyard. And, uh, <laughs> it was a pummeling. And and, and, and and as he did, as he did so, yeah. All my all my my pencils and pens were falling out my jacket pocket, and he was like, he, he he was trying to like hit me, and I was just, I was just picking picking. Don't up make me pens. drop my pocket computer. <laughs> Although it, it was it was funny because at one point he tried to kick me and I just grabbed his ankle and then that's it I had him because then yeah. I could just I I could just like yeah, yeah. make him hop hop around the playground Stab him with your pencil. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> oh, the you should have that you pen is mightier than the sword. You should have kicked his underdeveloped <laughs> nutsack right back into his torso. Just <laughs> rah, <laughs> fuck yeah. Mm. No, I, I drew a smiley face on the end of his penis. <laughs> <laughs> With my pens. <laughs> Boy, you had to be down there for quite a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was cleaning off the, the worst bit there. <laughs> oh. uh, I'll, I'll shut up now. So you know what I was going to do? I was well, setting up a thing where I was going to use my iPhone as a camera right by the the, mm. the the aquarium here so we could have aquarium cam and have it up, right? So you could see, you know? Mm-hmm. And uh, Apple has this thing where you can use your iPhone as a uh, webcam and all this. And if you go into the instructions on how to do it, it's very clear that you only have to have, you know, iOS version, whatever, Mac OS version, whatever. And it should simply be an option if you go into settings and turn it on. Well, I couldn't turn it on. It wasn't there. So then I started looking into the hardware specs and it was like iPhone versions this to this. Well, I have the bottom first uh, one, right? right? 
So it still should have worked, but it wouldn't. So then I started looking into it more and I have version this, but I had to have version this, this, and I'm literally one tiny step behind being able to do it. Oh, oh my God. version 4.0 two versus 4.03 or yeah, my, my iPhone is an X version, the 10 one. And if I had an XR or an XS, I'd be fine. It's like, for fuck's sakes, man. Really? You know? For real. Yeah. And yeah, I'm not. So, so you want for being behind the times. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's where I live. You know? <laughs> yeah. Speaking of oh. keeping up with the times, look at my oh. new toy. Oh, he's got, he's got a Vision Pro. Hang on. No, 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 he can't no, I see do not. It. Yeah. <laughs> no, just a, uh, just a Quest 3. Cool. Yeah. But yeah, it's been pretty fun this far. Once my back isn't as messed up and I can actually play some of the actual cool games. There on you go. It. I'll put mine on. Oh, there you go. That's high speed. <laughs> uh, yeah, the Vision Pro Air. <laughs> God, those are the 3,500. Hell no. I know, man. You know, and it's missing so much software and stuff like it's what they're doing is they're soaking the early adopters in money so that they can use that money to pay developers to help develop apps to make the thing worthwhile. <laughs> it's it, what's uh, going know, it, on. Uh, but you know what? You know what? I watched I saw a video uh, and, and the, another guy so like talking about the Vision Pro last night and, and what he said was was really, really amazing, you know, yeah. interesting stuff. It, it, it says, you know, because because we're all kind of like, you know, these hardware and um, like, right. you know, the, the reveal, reviewers on, yeah. on YouTube and stuff like that. We're always looking into the, the minutiae and, you know, and, and, and pointing out the flaws. Yeah. And, and, he's, and he was basically saying that, you know, if you give it to someone who's not one of us, who just has, has, mm -hmm. doesn't know what we're talking about technically, they are just blown away by. Oh it. yeah, and yeah. And, and, and and he he, he basically said, what, give us a sec. Yeah. and basically he basically said, you know, like, once once I like took that out of my mindset that I'm a hardware reviewer and and tried mm -hmm. it again, he said, just just the experience is absolutely phenomenal. Oh yeah, and I and and at that point I was like hovering over, can I buy one? I want one now. I want one. Yeah. Yeah, but but um, uh, Apple has proven this time and time again. Um, the first edition of their more oddball products, like the first iPhone, the first iPad and stuff, are mm -hmm. the ones you want to avoid like the plague because they get exactly. left in the dust the soonest. At, once they perfect the smallness and the better chips and stuff, they do this quickly in their roadmaps, right? The first iPads and the first iPhones got left in the dust. They couldn't do half of the shit that the iPhone 3G could. And, you know, and it's totally, they do this on purpose. They, the early adopters are paying a heavy fee. But why shouldn't you when it's a brand new product paradigm and so on and whatnot? And if you have customers that are willing to pay, like look at Ferrari. You know, they, they put out a car and people are willing to spend $400,000 for it. So why wouldn't you sell it to them for $400,000? You can't begrudge them for it, right? It, it, yeah. it makes perfect business sense, but I'm not stupid enough to buy the first one. I will oh, yeah, say I mean. this. I will say this. <laughs> no, but I will say if I had the extra money, I would right now just to play. And if, if mm. I could lose the $3,000 and not care, I'd have it right now. But... Um, Ooh, new fundraiser. Yeah, hold on, hold on. No, there's there's a story I want to say. No offense, skits on the MetaQuest here, but um, Cletus McFarland, an auto racing sort of crazy adventure dude YouTube channel. Um, the guy owns his own oval racetrack. He has a pilot's license for planes, for helicopters. He's raced boats and jet boats and all kinds of different cars. The guy's insane, right? He's made a huge thing with pay-per-view racing. Like, he makes way more than the average <clears throat> YouTuber, right? He has this really cool drag race car, and I'm not much for drag racing. I like circuit racing, but... Um, they did this thing where this company came out and scanned the body of his skeleton tubular drag race car. It's based on a Corvette. 
so they could put a funny car body on it. Those big, long, crazy looking fucking, you know, with the thing that flips up in the air uh, drag cars, right? Yeah. And they did this thing with the Meta Quest where you could put the, the headset on and you could see the body virtually and whatnot. But his hands were phasing in and out weird and some of the weird shit that was going on. And because the Meta Quest at the price you paid is not the same with the extra sensors and stuff that the Vision Pro has. So, you know, the, the bigger price, right? It makes yeah. sense. But the Apple Vision Pro for virtualizing bodies on cars and aerodynamics and all this kind of stuff is going to take it to a new level like the other ones can't. And I think it'll hold its extreme price forever. It will always be over three thousand oh, dollars. Yeah, it'll always be of expensive. Of course, because it has the Apple, you know, name attached to it. Yeah. But it's also you can't you can't say that. It's, it's not just it's because a it's got the Apple step name. Better well, in so there many is, ways. There is a if there Samsung is technology had, in there. Yeah, if Samsung had the equivalent though, mm. uh, you know, tech for tech, iPhone Apple products will always have a higher price point. Because just just brand loyalty. And, that's and, not that's and, not true. That's not no, true. I don't that's I don't true. agree there. I don't agree there either. I hate many Apple business practices. I talk shit about them on the shows all the time. But I'm surrounded in their technology because they do go one step beyond Samsung for the most part. Like Samsung spec wise with their phones, you know, if you match them up like a tech guy, they work great. But mm. Apple's are always a bit smoother because the OS is more integrated into the chip. You always get a better battery experience. And there's all these things in the background that Apple do better than other tech there, companies. They there is, really there, do. There is one thing that I will side with skits on this one, and you will too, Dick, is is the Apple tax on uh, storage and memory. Oh, that, yeah. that, is, that is just the worst. That's evil, man. I have a Mac Studio. I know the Apple tax, right? Yeah. The poor bastard that owned this computer for four, before me owned it for 10 months. He bought it for $6,200 Canadian, and I bought it for $3,200 Canadian. And because it was like you know, I had the um, uh, the trash can um, Mac before I moved on to the sexy useless beast. It is. Yep. It, it, no, it wasn't useless. It, it did it did me just fine. But the but the difference between that and the Mac Studio that I got now is you could open it up and you could swap out the 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 SS the the um, the, the SSD uh, and the memory. You could you could just put new hard drive in it and uh, new memory in it, and uh, you could upgrade it whatever you could. Uh, the new ones, they're all like soldered on now. You can't, you, you've well, got to, or you got to order it. Yeah. You got to, unless you know DOS Dude One or a few of these hackers that can literally do ball grid array soldering, you are stuck with what you got. And even then, if you try to upgrade it yourself, you're looking at open core hacks and all this kind yeah. of crazy shit to make it run. Now, yeah. I agree with Apple on why they did it because of the unified structure of shared RAM. I know we're getting techy here. Sorry, everybody. But it still sucks that it can't be upgraded in the future with a stick that might be a little bit slower, but at least you can upgrade it, right? You know? Oh, just check. We still got twenty-two likes. You're all right, Dick. Carry on. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, we were up to we were up to forty-seven. <laughs> <laughs> nope, no, it's stuck at twenty-two. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm losing a uh, I'm losing a like every five syllables here. Yeah. So, no. yeah, it was, was it was funny. Is we we've had these likes since we you know, before the bloody show started and hasn't hasn't gone up. So uh, yeah, we're, we're, do, not, we're refresh not doing refresh your screen. Right. They have actually. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I got the studio open. I can see it. Yeah. Likes are down to 36. Oh, got an ad now. Down to 36. 48. Yeah. Oh, there we go. That's not bad, right? That's, that's, that's not bad because there's more likes than people are watching. <laughs> oh. Brilliant. Yeah, it's more yeah, than I would give it. So uh, <laughs> must, be, must be those Russian bots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, paid, I paid good money for on those Russian bots. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, we could redo uh, the cults, uh, the Clash song, Spanish Bombs, Russian Bots.
<laughs> I think that'd be a fun cover to do. Um, yes. uh, yeah, so Dunk, prepare something inappropriate <laughs> to say, and I'll go get a beer. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> no in doubt. Tits, uh, tit wank, uh, bottom bombs. Uh, uh, tosser. Uh, uh, tosser, yeah. yeah. <laughs> wank spasms. Um, wank spasms. <laughs> sounds, sounds painful. <laughs> 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 Sounds like something you need medication for. Like, oh, I got a, a terrible case of the wank spasms. Oh, God. <laughs> it's all those cock rings I keep putting on them. It's just debilitating. It's like you're supposed to take them off afterwards. It's like, you have 18 of them on there. Like, what the hell? God, that went down that drain fast. Well, you, well, you did you didn't, like, throw us under a bus there, you know, the <laughs> bastard. A cock ring bus. But it happens to mm. you weekly and mm. repeatedly. I'm just surprised that it's a surprise to you at this point, you know. I just I just have never have anything prepared. Oh. Jesus. <laughs> All he has to do is, like, and Emmy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just just leaves the just blank screen walks yeah. away what oh i wish i wish i wish i had a, like a screen grab of that bit you know on uh, red's rhetoric's um debate with that flat earth uh, and i just there's, there's a speed polish in the emmy and i can just, <laughs> get just, have it, just every time it comes up yeah me polishing me emmy thank you it's a good one <laughs> my my favorite <laughs> bit is actually when uh the flat earther wanted to see an actual real Non CGI rocket launch. So what Dunk did was he <laughs> took a rocket launch and edited it. So there's a rocket with the tower and everything ready to launch. But what launches is just off to the right. It's a big water tower and it launches <laughs> into the air. And dude watches the footage and goes, Yep, that's real. Yeah, that's real. Oh no, it's, <laughs> it's fake because they cut away. Did you see that? They cut away. It's yeah, yeah. Fake. <laughs> oh, so it's like, dude, oh my God. Uh, yeah, yeah. So he sat there and watched the water tower <laughs> launch into space and was like, yep, I'm convinced. <laughs> and, it, and, and to be fair, I didn't really put that much work into it. It wasn't even that good. <laughs> <laughs> but it was funny. It was awesome. When, it was when one you of the spend most, 15 yeah, minutes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Uh, and it's and it, when it's so funny is it's like you know uh, all these flat earthers they, they look for uh, mistakes in in space you know video or you know or yeah. footage and from they space. miss the real mistake and, and they, they go yeah yeah that, yeah that look at that look at that bit there that that must that must be fake because yeah because the, they got <laughs> they got that bit wrong no, d d completely ignoring the thousands of hours of, of it not screwing up. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, and yeah. They, and, they, and they find something that they think is wrong, and it doesn't matter. It's, it's still, you know, oh. it, it, it gets explained, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. No. Oh. And every oh, oh. every single country that has um, what are they called? Uh, telescopes and uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. and uh, 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 mountains. Science. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, they're all but, lying, you know, never and, mind and, the space programs. Right? Yeah. And, and, and what's crazy is as, as somebody who went to university for, for physics and my degrees in physics, <laughs> like I've done like so many, you know, you, you see, oh, you know, you, you haven't done those experiments. You're just taking the scientist's <laughs> word for them. Like, no, no, I no, have done no, these no, experiments no, personally. No, no, that's what you have to do. Yeah. Inside. Yeah. Yeah, you flip burgers, I prove physics. It's been done. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. I, I shot lasers at the moon and have it reflect back and timed it. And like, it is this yeah. many light seconds away. Yeah, it's like, that's one of those things, man. Like, anybody can actually do that with just, like, a little organization and a few people, right? You know? The funny, the funny thing about Flat Earth is, 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 is it's like one of those kind of, like, uh, it's like a disease you can't, eradicate because it always it always uh, crops up again in a new form uh well no the same the same virus the same form just in a new host 
And so you'll have the same uh, another person come and go say, "Oh, you know, uh, there's there's no photographs from space." So you no, know, no, there are. Let's show you them again. Oh, so the, the, yeah, the Earth, you know, the water can't <laughs> bend. Yes, it can. It's, so uh, so you're you're <laughs> saying it's a holy war. There's always another idiot to take up the mantle. <laughs> always, always, always another another idiot, and and, and they'll just start from ground. Yeah, zero yeah. with their with, with their evidence and start throwing out you know that's been debunked that's been debunked doesn't make any difference how many times it's been debunked because they'll just start <laughs> right from the beginning again and you have to start all over again <laughs> it's hilarious. hilarious like every time oh. I, I i see like a flat earther start talking my my, my degree starts crying <laughs> 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 just thought i'd fill in the blanks for you there <sighs> yeah i mean I'm, I'm i'm no by no means you know a phd or anything like that just got you know a bachelor's degree but still that, that that's enough to to, to realize I, these guys are idiots I, 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 I love i love how the fact that flat earth sorry dick but i love mm -hmm. how the fact that flat earthers love to like you know take uh you know, uh, science to its you know e extremities of uh, philosophy is like we because uh, they fit together. Si yeah, because science doesn't know everything. It doesn't even know what dark energy is or dark or dark matter is. <laughs> no, no, we don't. No, we don't know that. But we can look at this fucking planet, no. measure it. And yeah. so it's round, you know, just because you can't, you know, it's, it's, right. like, it's like the whole God equation. Yeah. You know, you can't prove God wrong yeah. and all that kind of stuff. Our, our girl Vera Rubin was able to look and go, well, in our solar system, the further you get from the sun, the slower you orbit. But when you look at a galaxy, the stars on the outside spin the same as on the inside. As such, there has to be more gravitational attraction, more mass, to otherwise they would fly out like cars spinning off a racetrack. It's observational. You don't have to know the why to know that it is. Yeah, and it's only called, you know, black, you know, or dark energy or dark matter or whatever. Not because it's, you know, dark. black. <laughs> it's just, just because... We no, don't dark. know. We could just call them Fred and Bob because we have yeah, no idea yeah. what the fuck they yeah. are. Yeah. Dark is shorter than I don't fucking know. Right? Yeah, but, right. It but, should be but, an acronym. But, yeah. the funny, yeah. but, the, but that's, the, that's the thing. It's because we don't know. Therefore, you can't know anything. Yeah. No, yeah, no, but that's not how you know that's nothing. Not, that's, yeah. not, that's not how it works. But these are yeah. the same people that take unidentified in UFO and turn it into mm. alien craft, right? Well, the press do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're fucking yeah. idiots too. Yeah. Um. Unidentified alien craft piloted by gray aliens coming here to turn our cows inside out was spotted over Chicago. Because that's <laughs> basically what they do these days, you know? <laughs> Yeah, the second it becomes identified, it's no longer a UFO. <laughs> exactly, right? You know, there, there, there was a uh, I, I mentioned this before, but there was a, um, uh, a documentary on one of the like you know the, the stupid channels like History or Discovery or whatever, and it was talking about Roswell. And you looked at the write up, and it goes, you know, in nineteen what, what what year was it? Nineteen forty seven or nineteen fifty two? Whatever. Forty seven, I think. Yeah, yeah in in nineteen in nineteen forty seven, an alien spacecraft. Crash, crashed in the desert the desert you know no no he didn't no a thing happened in roswell new mexico it would no so the thing is yeah you know, this this is if this is the documentary where they start with the premise that an alien spaceship yeah. crashed in the exactly. desert yeah, you yeah. haven't got a fucking hope in hell of yeah. getting to the truth yeah There's something tells chance. me david attenborough is not involved in your production <laughs> <laughs> no. for real <laughs> you know yeah uh, can't uh, win can't win with these people no but there's a huge folk that love it um there was a thing i was gonna bring up for the 42 show but i knew it was gonna get left till after um the queen of canada you know that oh. fucking QAnon bitch, right? Yeah. Go on, yeah. do the story. Do the story now. Yeah. Come on. Let's go right. for it. Let's All go right. for it. Hold on. Here, here. Let me get it queued I, up. Here. I love this crazy cow. My God, this woman is fucked up. Um, so hey, no way to talk about your queen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I trust me, if my queen was born and raised in the Philippines, I <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
fuck, man. Well, I was, you know. I was, I was, I was from Germany. So I was but, just yeah. going to say, yeah, you know, I don't have to stand Fair. up and saying Deutschland, Deutschland every time she talks. <laughs> but, you know, I'm just kidding. I love the queen. She was a great lady. Um, not this silly bitch, but the real one. Um, so this, this fucking delusional nitwit that is literally the size of an overgrown tampon <laughs> with a fucking face of a Filipino girl, you know, just going, right? Um, right. She, she is the self-described queen of Canada, and she has called for the destruction of all government buildings. She has called for public executions for every single person who has ever vaccinated a child against COVID. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me, let me get my goggles off so I can listen to get back to reality. <laughs> back <laughs> I gotta get serious. To life, <laughs> yeah. Back to <laughs> reality. You gotta get your serious goggles off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this chick is like right off the rails and she's a queuing on her, right? Like she's no that, mm. you know. And so she had a little popularity until the whole freedom convoy thing happened. Now, funny enough, the freedom convoy, you know, for American like rights and freedoms, amendments and stuff. Was, that, was this the first one or the second one? Well, it happened in Canada too, where we have different laws. So that yeah. was odd. Mm. Um, <laughs> but uh, a whole bunch of people who don't understand um, much about Canadian politics and courts and laws showed up in our capital ottawa and did this freedom convoy where they blocked roads and stuff because they wanted to be assholes and make people's lives shitty and this mm -hmm. woman showed up uh the queen of canada oh, here yes, yes, yeah. did, did this, and, is, this is an old video isn't it yeah yeah well no the video uh, is not even like properly going down here we go uh mm -hmm. here let me zoom in on this crazy broad and this, <laughs> this 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 here is the queen of canada because that makes so much sense and and she gained popularity in the freedom convoys and she's got a decent cult following like uh some of she's the like she's got a huge following yeah some of the watchers of this stuff in canadian government and uh um uh, like uh, fbi like CSIS ranks and stuff watch this chick now right mm. and so what did they do? Because they, they're kind of getting run out of everywhere they go, right? You know, nobody wants yeah. to rent to them and stuff. So some dude in southern Saskatchewan, uh, not exactly highly uh, populated province in Canada, a bit uh, rural, um, right down near the border in a town of like 100 people is a big supporter of hers. And he happens to own a school that's closed. So yes. he and... He invited their whole crew down, and they now occupy this whole school building. And they've In got a compound. It, yeah, they've got it all fenced off, like it's like from Red Dawn, you know, the the movie mm. where they come in and take control and stuff. You know, they've got it all fenced off, and the people of this tiny town are just freaked out, like they've got some weird cult moving in. You know, it's absolutely crazy, and this is going to test the freedom of speech laws and whatnot in Canada, because you now have a force of people that are easily higher in population than the town they're now centered in. Oh, wow. In, in a town. As such, she could run for mayor of the town and win. They could totally take over this town. And now she has a legal incorporated town under her control uh, it, it, that's a bit like um, Scientology as well though isn't it uh, well I mean I'm sure that I mean um, Sci Scientology have bought you know basically own towns now yeah because of the similar yeah. sort of situations right right well, so you I know L. Ron is... Hubbard is probably proud of her but I'm not mm. so much me you know <laughs> I, I didn't realize that, that QAnon was 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 like an international thing. I thought that was a strictly a United States fucking lunacy thing, dude. Oh no, no, no! As somebody with a Canadian flag above them, the blown away portion of my brain when this broad started showing up in public saying that she's the Queen of Canada and stuff, and it, it just blew my mind. I couldn't believe this was even real. And she is Canadian, at least. 
No, she's from the Philippines. No, no. Yeah, she so she's immigrated. Not Canadian. She immigrated okay. here. Yeah, yeah. So, not even Canadian claiming no. she is the Queen of Canada. Okay. Yeah, if she if she if she claimed she was the Queen of uh, the Philippines, uh, maybe she's got a chance. But no, she's just. Uh, I mean, you, you know, you, to to be a queen you, you, of any country, you have got to have some kind of royal ascent. You can't, or you, or you have to have a talent for tucking your dick between your legs so it doesn't get seen, right? Oh, oh, or pulling. Or or pulling you know swords from stones. You know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do that too. Hey, it must be, it must be me. <laughs> so but, yeah, how is she? Is she like married to a Canadian? Like, wh why is nope. she not being like kicked out of Canada? Um, um, honestly, I think at first that the powers that be we just thought it was hilarious and didn't realize the power of social media and what this woman could actually achieve, but. Uh, they did a cross Canada tour for supporters in a bunch of RVs. Um, they're being sued because they didn't pay for the rentals, but that's another story. Yeah. You know? Sounds yeah. like Trump. Yeah. 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 If this woman gave birth, it would be a little orange baby with creepy eyes and stuff that talks all <laughs> kinds of hard right Republican nonsense. Small uh, uh, to, to be, to be, to be fair. Trump looks like a proper politician next to her. That's true. That's true. <laughs> you oh. know, that's terrifying. She is. She is just nuts. Uh, bat is a fruitcake, and uh, yeah, she's got a huge following. And yeah, this is this is the problem of uh, not not just social media and the internet and stuff like that. It's just it's 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 a it's an indictment of our world at this minute that people who spout bullshit. Can yeah. rise above again. You know, we talk about flat earthers or, or just anybody who is that who lies, yeah, just yeah. talks bullshit. They can yeah. they can rise above their bullshit to become yeah. something it's, more important than they shouldn't should it, be. It, it's just bonkers. We, we all should be a lot better with a filter that says, "Wait a minute, that's fucked up." I should look into that to be well, sure. Well, we are better. That's why we were the shields to start with. But yeah, but I, I don't people. just I don't just mean our crew and gang and yeah, viewership and everything, but in general. Like it really speaks to the levels of education we're living in right now that people could fall for this. You I was, was going I was going to say, you know, cuz you know, when we was doing like history at school, you know, you, you know, you, you talk about, you know, the, the, the levels of, of evidence and, you know, whether it's first person, second person, tertiary evidence. And, you know, you have to go back to base levels to get your evidence. It's it's like it's like school needs to now to like have like, you know, um, lessons on social media, the Internet and truth, fact and how fact can be distorted. It's, it's like it has yeah. to be it has to be a lesson. Yeah. Never, mind, never mind your religious education and sex education. Throw that out. Yeah. Forget yeah. about that. We, yeah, we, yeah. We, can, we can deal with that later. We all this, know how this, to this, fuck this, before you bother <laughs> teaching us, right? You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all looked at the dirty pictures in the in the library. But, yeah. you know, it's, it's like yeah, this this has got to be done because otherwise society yeah. is just going to fall apart. You know, I, you know, I'll say this, Gitz, I'll turn it right to you, but what Starsky's building with the Propaganda Study Institute mm. could actually become course material if done properly, mm. and we know he will. So that's something to think about, right? Yeah, it's a good thing. Yeah. 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 Sorry, Skits, yeah, please. Oh, um, no, I, I, it's funny because I, I actually, uh, a couple of years ago, got my kid a, a, a book called uh, Is This Wi-Fi Organic uh, by Professor Dave. <laughs> And it, it's all really? about, yeah, and it's all about spotting, uh, identifying truth online and, and uh, things like that. So it, it's, it's a really good read. You know what? Speaking of which, we had Professor Dave on the shills when we were like in our first year uh, as a guest debunking some flat earth stuff. Oh, yeah. We should get a hold of him because what we're doing now would very much tickle his fancy you know what that's a good shout i've got a private way to get a hold of him from back in the day i'm gonna yeah, do that by tickling nice. his fancy yeah well you know <laughs> yeah it's all about the you know you got to find the gray hair and pull it three times <laughs> just three 
not poor. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's a YouTuber creator thing. In, in my case, uh, witch gray hair. There's plenty of them. Oh, pull, no, no. Pull, I, pull, pull them as many times as you like. <laughs> no, there, there, was, there was also a funny thing, you know, I was, I was talking about this with my wife the other day, you know, uh, where um, people was like given um, the, a list of chemicals and they said, you know, would you would you eat that? And they go, no, no, I wouldn't eat that. It's all chemicals. It was the, it was the chemical compounds of an apple. And it's, 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 it's like, no, I won't touch it because it's all chemicals. No, but, but everything's chemicals. Everything. Every, everything, everything, in the, everything in the world is chemicals. You know, it, it doesn't make any difference. With, you know, they talk about natural chemicals or chemicals. It's just chemicals. Everything is a chemical. Everything, everything is a, is some kind of molecule of some kind. And and to give people like you know the, uh, the yeah, you know, but the, I the only eat organic. But sir, there can be organic chemicals in. in yeah. No, yeah, no, yeah, I it's only. Exactly. Uh, it's just the, the, this is the lo- this is the uh, long carbon chain of an apple. No, would you eat it? No, wouldn't touch it. Uh, uh, sir, this is not an argument against Monsanto. You know, like <laughs> wow, this is just how stupid people are now. It's just like you know, it, it, yeah. It, it just it just depends how you relay the information. Yeah. I hate you know, chemicals it, because I hate humanity. It's like, it's like if you bought an apple and, and and on the side of the packaging, it's got all all the listings of all the you know the ingredients and all the chemicals, and yeah, you know, people wouldn't touch it. But if you just showed them an apple, they'll buy it. You know, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's like, yeah. Just but remember to shine it first because they put that shit on it that makes it shiny. Yeah, you got to get that yeah. off. Yeah, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, crazy. I live in an area where, uh, speaking of which, we grow apples, peaches. Uh, there was even a guy in my area who had a greenhouse back in the late seventies and grew bananas in Canada. No it actually way. happened. Yeah, man, it really yeah. did. Um, Green ones. Yeah, no, no, they were really good, <laughs> but it cost too much money because of the environment control and everything. Right. Um, right. But uh, flowers, and we're, by the way. yeah, and we're surrounded by like amazing cherries, like cherries that are like that fucking big. It's really good. And uh, wineries. But this year, I, I'm in a really strange region of Canada where it's more nor- warmer than it should be. And um, that's why it's kind of like, you know, the south of France with all this shit in the hills growing, mm. right? And But I'll this say. year we had like, you know, when we normally get minus five, minus six degrees in winter, we had minus 18, minus 20 some with wind chill. And it was right at the end of winter as spring is supposed to hit. And it has decimated blossom growth in most of the vineyards and the fruit trees and stuff. And basically everybody in my entire region is going to be government dependent for subsidies because most of the vines for the wineries and stuff are dead. It's not even that they're not going to get a crop this year. They're dead. So. So it now takes generations to like get a right. Good, yeah, yeah. Now they have to replant and regrow the vines. And the thing is, is when you've got an entire region that needs vines, there's not enough shops that have vines because nobody's ready for that much purchasing. Right. It doesn't usually happen. So, yeah. oh yeah, you got a couple of, you know, you, you got people that are like used to making big money that are going to be screwed for a few years. Now, I agree that you can't leave people dead in the water, but if you've got a winery that makes a few million dollars a year, why the fuck don't you have insurance and things put away and stuff when we have people that can't even afford housing and stuff? Why are we going to be subsidizing your rich ass? I'm not sure I'm down with that. Mm, Yeah, I agree with that one. Yeah. You know yeah. what the you fuck? If it was like an essential crop or like like wheat. You know, like, hey, you know, yeah, food, right? Like, you know, you know it's, yeah. It's, it's, mm. I mean, yeah, yeah. Maybe it's you know very right? yeah, super that, important yeah, to yeah, their economy. That, that's, yeah, yeah. They're, they're sitting out on their porch drinking their beautiful bottle of Chateau Shabby shot, shotty, shotty shit shot, and you know just thinking, oh yeah, we got it, we got it, we got right. it good, we got it good. Oh shit, everything's dead. Oh no, no we, shit. <laughs> yeah, we, no, we, we, we shit, weren't shit, planning shit, ahead. Shit. <laughs> no, and when I say my region is like south of France, I mean, you know what what. 
our wineries in the area are posh fucking places. Like a guy like me who's scruffy wearing t-shirts and shit and whatnot, I would look so out of place there. Like, you know, Rodeo Drive kind of thing, right? You know? So these guys oh, I'm not, if you, not if you turned not if you turned up in a Maserati, maybe. Uh, yeah, even yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair. Even still I'd have to shower. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and that's too far <laughs> yeah 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 no but you know to be, to be serious though i mean you know i understand subsidizing farmers that have a bad year because of weather when they're growing wheat and stuff and so on right mm. i understand this but cherries and 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 wine I'm I'm just not sure. Like the my my government, my provincial government, so just British Columbia, has already allocated seventy million dollars to replanting of the grapevines that have died because of the weather. Seventy million dollars. You could wow. pretty much cure homeless issues with seventy million dollars, building some like, you know hotel like places with single bachelor things and whatnot and so on i mean come on really or just yeah. one really nice flat for one homeless person <laughs> exactly yeah turn him into a king you know yeah. <laughs> hook him up with the hell's angels so he runs the drug trade you know yeah it's like yeah, three toilet one. seats for the united states military so <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah 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 with that kind of money you could actually teach russians to use toilets right or stop stealing them. And <laughs> it was, 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 it's, it's kind of like weird to put in perspective, though. So, you know, like at least for the United States, like $70 million, it seems like a lot of money, but like compared to what we spend on our military, that is not like oh, yeah. 0.0001% or like yeah. it's. <laughs> but, but that $70 million is in a valley that holds a population of less than a million people. Yeah, it's definitely disproportionate. Yeah, we're talking about a like a little strip of land. It's a valley, right? Well, I'm sure you know, the, you know they're putting money into the pockets of the politicians making that legislation. Oh, everybody gets a new Mercedes, and it all has radar cruise control, right? For sure. I mean, you know, spend yeah. you know ten thousand dollars in you know donations or whatever, and you know you get you know a million dollar bill. You're in your favor. Yeah, you know, it's an investment. Hey, yeah. speaking of donations, let's talk about something serious for a second here. So, when it comes to the Saturday Ukraine show, we've been hooking up with Project Constantine and doing some real fundraising and Greg Terry experience. Um. We have a thing coming up where we'll be doing a direct fundraiser with NAFO 69 Sniffing Brigade and everything as well. I'm working on that in the background. But when people see this is what just happened. So let me tell you the story. Um, uh, coming up in like five or six days, we get our Google AdSense payment for Super Chats and stuff. And the uh, Project Constantine guys have like $900 Canadian coming from us that are going to buy Pete his uh, dual microphone set for interviews and everything when he's doing his, uh, you know, his videos and stuff, right? Um, now, uh, the thing is, is I get my payment in like five days, but the payments already hit my AdSense and the money from that show didn't make the cut. So it won't actually pay out for another 35 days. Ouch. That's too long, right? Now, so what we're going to do coming up on the show tomorrow is we're going to fundraise to get that money in now, and then we can just give them, them that money to like help keep the trucks on the road and stuff and get bandages and quick clot and stuff, right? Um, but do you think it's a good idea that we actually turn off super chats so everything has to go through direct donations so we don't have this super lag and wait and i can send them the fucking money at the end of the show because it's all direct donations or do you think some people just won't donate because it's harder that way and we'll lose some for them Right. Yeah, I think you. I think you. I, th I think you might lose some. 
Because I think a lot of people, you know, they have their super chat set up. And, yeah, and, yeah, and, exactly. And they're, not, right? and they're not they're not willing to set up another way of doing stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like um, to see their name flash up on there, like well, you know, well, it, well, it's, it's, well, it's not just yeah, but that. I can do that for donations if that's yeah. what it takes. Okay. No problem. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Think, I, I, I think. I mean, I, I think you know. You, I mean, you always enforce it, you know, when, uh, sorry to use that word, but you always enforce it. <laughs> no, you, you always, you always enforce it when it, when it comes to the donations, it's like say you do a direct donation because, you know, you, you get more money gets to the, the source, uh, at the end of the day and it's quicker. You, you, you've already done, always done that, but you know, some people are just stuck you know, using the super chat. So I wouldn't say switch it off. You just got to enforce it a little bit more. Uh, that's all I can say, really. Just curious. Yeah. What, what percentage of donations come in by a super chat versus the other means? Uh, that... it's, it's, it's all over the place. Sometimes it's half and half. Yeah, I've sometimes got, sometimes it's more. Sometimes yeah, it's less. sometimes we come out of a Saturday show with seven hundred bucks in super chats and five hundred in donations. <laughs> other time. We'll have two hundred in super chats and a thousand in donations. Oh, okay. Like so it's all mm. over the place. Yeah, there's no, you know, the 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 human nature to have uh, uh, foresight for pattern recognition is not enough in this situation, <laughs> young Padawan. <laughs> well, there's also the situations where someone will do a, like a you know a massive donation. Yeah, uh, yeah, and and it and it obviously just you know, skews the numbers quite a lot. Like so, so someone would just go like five hundred. Steve Walsh, yeah, Steve Walsh is is a uh, is is just you know he's a fucking animal. He's a, he's an animal out there. Yeah, animal. Not seen, yeah. not seen him, not seen him in a while. Sometimes he disappears and comes back, and I always wish I had a way of getting a hold of him in the background yeah. just to make sure he's okay. You know. Yeah. It is, it, is a, it is a kind of like you know uh you know uh, like a life indicator you know <laughs> yeah, thum, 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 thum. Mm. yeah we, we we know steve steve walsh is okay he's he's alive he's super chatting us yeah it's like it's like a heart monitor <laughs> yeah you know yeah we haven't got a super chat from Proof steve walsh today someone sent the ambulances around he must be he must be sick <laughs> yeah, yeah, just yeah. do welfare check <laughs> yeah yeah somebody smashed his door down uh, yeah. Jeez, I'm sorry. I was on vacation. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, fine. I'm yeah. fine. I just don't have any money this week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I got, yeah. I got to buy a new fucking door now. You yeah. bastards. But, but he's so prevalent when he's on his game that it almost <laughs> makes you concerned, right? Yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, you know, I don't know where he lives and stuff and whatnot. I don't know what his D and it, it just. You know, like when somebody's that much a part of your existence when you're doing your thing, it just kind of makes you, you know, want to know, right? Mm. You no, know, it's, it's. I think the same goes with a, a lot. Not even just Steve Walsh. It's, it's other people. Mm. You know, you see your regulars in the chat, and if you, if you don't yeah, see yeah. them, you go, "Are you all right, buddy?" Exactly. You know, yeah. You, you know, I mean, I hate, I hate to say it to you, uh, plebs in the audience, but we do actually fucking care about you, <laughs> plebs. <laughs> No, it's, but it's, it's it's true though, you know, because you, you you see the names and you go, oh yeah, yeah, okay, that's great, you're okay. Uh, but if you, if you don't see it, don't see a person for a while, you go, oh well, the prick unsubbed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Found something better. What? <laughs> he got bored. Yeah, he got bored. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I don't blame yeah. him. I'm, I get bored listening to me. No, you, no, it's <laughs> it's not uploaded. We're live. There we go. Mm. You know, it's real. It's Memorex, so, here, or is here's it? a question. So, can or do either of you go back and like listen to your own streams? Like, is it all cringe? the time? Is it still cringe, or is it like, or you're like, nah, no, you're, you're, no, you're no, no, yeah, well, I go back and listen to the stream sometimes, and I'm giggling my tits off, and, was, <laughs> and, and, and I'm and I'm thinking, God, I wish I could have watched this without actually having been there. <laughs> Yeah, and 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 when we when we watch back, if either one of us finds something and we're like, "Oh, that didn't work," we instantly let each other know, like, "Hey, hey," and blah blah. There's a lot of back chat and production mm. and and whatnot put into it. Yeah, we're, we're we're very highly critical of each other, and you know, and, and <laughs> usually and usually are ourselves. As, yeah, as, as Dick will. Yeah, you know, he was. thinks I'm an asshole, but I know he's an asshole. So. <laughs> 
Yeah, because yeah. I, 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 I don't know. Still to this day, like, uh, like, oh, there's a stream I was on. I'll listen to it. Start listening to myself. Like, and I'm good. Thank you. Yeah. Like, no. <laughs> what you got to do is spend some money on a mic and the headphones and stuff, and then, uh, it it's a lot. It's it's. Uh, and I should be using my good microphone. Well, like see? I'm just using my. <laughs> yeah. You know. Okay. For hold some on. Silly reason. I right. must have yeah. a gag for kick, that. Kick him, kick him, kick him. <laughs> I, I, I could have been using my good microphone, but I thought, fuck, fuck it, I won't. What's wrong with you? There you go. There, there, <laughs> Jesus Christ Almighty! Yeah, yeah. I'm, su I'm surprised Dick Dawson let you on. <laughs> you know, he's not actually a hundred percent wrong on that. <laughs> <laughs> The, the, I, I get so frustrated when like you see somebody on a show and they're using a really good microphone and they sound amazing and then you invite them to be a guest on their sh on your mm. show and they just talk to their webcam microphone with like the dryer running in the background or something you know and yeah yeah thanks for that thanks <laughs> <laughs> At least mine's going through an, an NVIDIA RTX you know, filter. So it's not yeah, yeah, so, yeah, so yeah, bad. I, yeah. I don't get. I don't care if it's going through a virgin's vagina. <laughs> it still doesn't sound any better. Oh dear God. Okay, yeah. okay. Let's let's. I'm afraid. Okay, what what happened to me? So I change it. Uh, hey, afraid, hey, oh hey. You know, at this at this point, I think it's it's time for me to crack open uh, another bottle of wine. So uh, there we go. Yeah, uh, Dick, it's your turn to uh, talk shit about me. Oh, okay. Right. So when he says bottle of wine, he means box of wine. No, I mean bottle. I you know because uh, because little has stopped doing the box. You said uh, it was my turn to talk shit about you. Fuck off and let me do it. <laughs> I'm I'm just correcting your inaccuracies. I'll be back in a sec. <laughs> you know Ooh. what though, son of a Sorry. bitch? Because my beer is right on empty, and I was about to get up, and I I I, I think he did that on purpose. I I think. He probably installed a scale into my desk just on the right where I put my drink, right? And he knew it was getting light. And he was like, fuck him. You know, I'm doing it this time just to piss him off. Ah, okay. Well, here, here's the question. See, there Do you I sound go. any better? That's okay. Do I sound it. better? Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's okay. It. okay. All right. Much better. That's it. That's it. <laughs> yeah i didn't realize i sounded that bad <laughs> well no it wasn't that bad but a small mic can't deal with all the variations in tone and stuff and a big fat diaphragm mic can right yeah you know there we go yeah there we go see Skits Crasher sounds good. <laughs> Everybody, my apologies from yeah. here on out. I will, I will by default use the good microphone. Yeah, everybody buffer on your own time. I know that's pretty slick. <laughs> 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 uh, so the, my problem now with Dunk's absence isn't the fact that he's lying to us about opening a bottle of wine versus a box, but. It doesn't take this long to open a box of wine. So I do believe he's holding his wee-wee upstairs in front of the porcelain throne. Oh, that's, that's awful. Don't do that. It's a horrible sound. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's, that's me opening a bottle of wine. I just found out. With your teeth? I just found out it was beside me all the time. Oh. <laughs> oh. You son of a bitch. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'll just get a massive crisp packet now and just like rustling it. <laughs> it's just drive dick mad. Oh, if I sent that crisp <laughs> packet, it would be empty just to make sure that when you <laughs> piss me off, you end up even more pissed. Now I'm getting beer just so I can tolerate your ass. All right. Hold on. <laughs> oh, see, 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 Skitzer is just prepared. Oh. He does not have to go anywhere. <sighs> He's got his many drugs of choice. You're just surrounded. Surrounded. Surrounded by vices. Yeah, see, listen, listen. I hear Riley. I hear Riley. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now, now, now I'll stop pouring the wine and take a piss in the other bottle. <sighs> 
There we go. I'm ready. I'm ready. Now I've got to roll a cigarette. <sighs> Are we still here? Are we still alive? <laughs> We're still going on. Allegedly. Mm. <sighs> so how many, so, well, how, how many eclipses? How many eclipses have you seen in your life? Oh, just a couple. Um, you know, and and very. Yeah, like maybe a half dozen, but uh, like very few. Wow. Maybe one of them have been like the actual total eclipses. Yeah, and of course you know lunar eclipses and whatnot in the past. But yeah, this is this is going to be a, a big one. I'm at least the the biggest in my lifetime. Like, I don't I don't think I've ever seen any. I think I think I've been close to seeing them, but you know never never at the right place at the right time to see them. But you know, always like most stuck of my doors or something. Yeah, most minor partial eclipses and whatnot. No. How 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 long is it going to be before we stop getting eclipses uh, with, the, with the positions of the moon and the sun? Because you know, because that is that's changing. Oh yeah, we're we're actually how, yeah. You're you're how, right. We're we in got, a very fortunate got, time. Yeah, we got like thousands of years or hundreds of years. How long is it? I think gonna thousands be, think? of years. Yeah, yeah, thousands of years. Um, well, and then all, yeah, I'll be all right like, then. The uh, yeah, moons get further away, and uh, yes, this uh, changes <clears throat> changes the one in three hundred ratio that we have. And yeah, we're just very fortunate that we live in a time that uh, that our particularly sized moon is just happens to be the perfect ratio away from our particularly you know far away uh, sun that it, it, we can have solar mm. eclipses. Yeah, the whole. I love the fact. So I go back to flat earthers and things. I love the fact that some of them think, you know, well, no, I don't. I don't believe that. They're, they're both the same size. Just, just, just understand ratio, and one thing is further away than the other, and just like you know, yeah, I, there's no coincidence. Yeah, yes. you, sir, I will refer you to Grover, near and far. <laughs> <laughs> this These, cow here this is cow. big. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that's a far no. away. <laughs> So, I'm glad we went to the same place. Uh, Dick, <laughs> yeah, Dick, it's called Dick, school. Dick, Dick he, he has still got Father Ted the series on his on his server. He's still got to watch it. It's a yeah. great show. Yeah. So okay, let me tell you a quick story. Um, I live in a townhouse complex, right? So my community is this little zone we have, right? And then we have <laughs> the neighborhood, right? So. Behind behind the the towers and the the, the fence and the gun. Yeah, towers. you know everything mm. but the liquor store. That's still in my you know neighborhood. My my, my, <laughs> camp. my neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My camp. What? Yeah, yeah. It should be in my backyard. But um, <laughs> but so this girl comes over to my place today. Uh, it's about like eleven a.m. and she said, "I just wanted to you know talk to you about your son for a minute." Now you know. My son, Felix, is on the spec autism spectrum and stuff, right? So, you know, shit happens now and then. So it sounds like a conversation I should be a part of, right? So I start listening. And she starts talking about an incident that happened that day, like half an hour before. And my son isn't home today. He's with grandma and mom. Mm -hmm. So that's a thing, right? And... She, as she's trying to explain it to me, I keep trying to interject, but she's one of these, um, oh, fuck, what are they called? Uh, millennials um, that won't listen. And, and she would not let me interject because somehow I'm a man and stealing her thunder. Or I don't know what the fuck uh, it was. Are uh, you mansplaining? Don't, don't make it worse. Don't make it worse. Right. I already <laughs> realized I shouldn't have said that, but, but, uh, but, but that's kind of what it was. And I was not allowed to speak. I just had to stand there and listen. And mm. it took all of about 15 minutes until she stopped when I could finally say, so uh, my son went over to his grandma's yesterday at like 7.30 p.m. He's not home. And she said, oh, I guess I have the wrong door then. Um, uh, uh, um, do you know which neighbor has the, the, the kid and blah, blah? Not a sorry, not a nothing. Just, uh, oh, can you help direct my anger to the right place, please? Then it was unbelievable. Can I speak to the manager? Yeah, you know. <laughs> It was and get off my lawn. It was yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, I felt like I rode a skateboard. You know, like you know. 
but it was unbelievable and it wasn't even my child you know i couldn't get a word wow. in edgewise and you know um as you, the, you were married once you should you should be used to that i was just gonna say <laughs> as the host of this channel for a few years now does anybody here know me as somebody who can't get a word in edgewise right you know so can you imagine what was coming at me that <laughs> i couldn't get a word in edgewise right you know it's unbelievable wow. <laughs> you know yeah <laughs> Yeah, it was crazy, you know, and uh, so I, I imagine it'll uh, it'll happen again. I'm I'm not even sure who she is. She must be like somebody new here because I don't even know her. It was very strange. Very sounds, weird. sounds like sounds like a new host for the show. Oh. <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Maya in the chat says, I call Dick when I can't get a word in edgewise. Well, that's just because you need somebody to shut everybody else up so you can speak. <laughs> I'm good at that. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Everybody put Pecker in pants. Lady wants to talk. <laughs> Not so aggressive, <laughs> but, you know. It's the point across. Yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm 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 not very good at interrupting people, you know, when they when they're talking, you know, for a long time. Mainly because I stop listening at the after the first two sentences, and I I can't I can't find uh you know uh, a a way to wedge into the conversation. Yeah, it's hard it's to like, interrupt you know, when you don't know what the fuck somebody's <laughs> talking about. <laughs> yeah, that does happen a lot though, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. it, it that, that you do see that you do see that just people just start open their mouth. Your shit keeps coming out. It's yeah. Like, well, I, I I can't interrupt you because I literally don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. And you don't <laughs> seem to need uh, oxygen. You just keep talking. You know? yeah. <laughs> you can breathe through their like, arms. Yeah. I was just going to say, are these rectal breathers? Because their <laughs> mouths don't ever have to stop. <laughs> you know? Gills. Yeah. They're like turtles Gills. or something, you know? They breathe out their asses. Yeah. Mm. In their asses. <laughs> you know what? One day we'll have to do a members only stream, but only members only. And you'll Be all have to jackets? promise. Oh. No, but they'll all have to pray. Yeah, yeah. We'll all have to promise never to repeat. But what we'll do is we'll have a bunch of YouTubers and we'll get together and we'll talk about our worst guests ever. But it cannot be for public consumption. It's just, you know, yeah. We'll get them to sign a contract, you know, a, 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 a non-disclosure agreement. Yeah. yeah, we'll get Elon to write it. That'll be solid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, what are you talking about? He'll be on. He'll be on the show. Yeah. 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 Well, he, the first guest. Yeah, he's yeah. one of my favorite targets. <laughs> oh. I, I, think, I think Elon would be great to talk to, to be honest with you. I think it would be, be funny. Be funny, funny, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, Elon. So uh, my teenage son thinks your ex-wife is cute. That's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> just, just make sure to take all your money out of any stock that you happen to have in Tesla before he opens his mouth, because every time he does that, <laughs> God, yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh, he's 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 definitely he's definitely a, a a man of this century. Uh, whether it's good or bad, yeah. one way to put it, <laughs> yet to be seen. I mean, I mean, the thing is, the thing is, you know, because I, I used to defend him because uh, you know he used to have these, uh, you know, the uncalled for with Amy and uh, um, and Claire, and you know they'd be talking shit about Elon. And, you know, I'd, I'd come in and defend him. But my God, in the past year, is he just like turned out to be a complete smuck that, you know, that they all believed he was. And, you know, we just hadn't seen it because, you know, we, we were looking at the other stuff he'd done, you know, the really, yeah. the, the really cool stuff, you know, part of SpaceX and, you know, then Tesla and, you know, all the, all the great innovations he was bringing forward as an entrepreneur mm. that he was. Uh, but, you know, this whole, I think it's, it's probably the Twitter thing. 
that has really like highlighted just what on a complete twat he is. Yeah, yeah. As soon as he gave himself control over a social media thing and made sure that his own personal voice was heard, everybody was like, oh, mm. so you're smart, but you're an idiot. Got yeah. it. Right? How much did he pay for it? Like some exorbitant 40, amount? 40 odd million. He's lost the GDP of about three European countries on that deal, and it doesn't matter yet. You know, that's how stupid modern is, right? I, I still hope he buys TikTok, though. Yeah. <laughs> From China? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah well, 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 because, well, that's the whole thing is, is, is uh, you know, uh, the, the is TikTok's going to be banned in the US. Yeah, but dude, it's been owned by have you US. heard? Um, I had this queued up, but I didn't show it, and I closed the damn browser now. But mm. um, a Trump crony... Oh is yeah, yeah. Lining right. up to buy TikTok right yeah, now. That's yeah. right. Yeah. True social 2.0. Never mind the Chinese. Here's MAGA. I know. Oh my God. I know. I mean that that's that that's the hilarious part of it. Is you know, the reason why they're trying to get rid of TikTok is because you know, national security and all the, the the influence it has yeah on americans but yet an, an american consortium wants to buy that's what that's why i brought, brought up uh musk but yeah yeah, yeah an Amer american yeah. consortium wants to buy it and then they well, have control the, what's what i'll give it to the fucking I know, chinese i know let them I, have it the, 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 <laughs> nobody in american justice system or government gives a rat's ass how deep zuckerberg's dick is up your butt in social media media and farming your information but as soon as it's a foreign entity uh no 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 I, I can't give you any fucking details on it because i can't remember but the chinese recently put forward a uh nuclear um uh, what, what do you call it not not necessarily disarmament but a plan to reduce nuclear arms around the world and and get it to a you know let's say a more reasonable state really, yeah yeah there's no there's no sort of sucky fucking thing but they brought one they brought, seemed a bit excessive <laughs> they brought forward a proposal that actually makes a lot of sense and That's it's and, it, and it's really good and it's, it's coming from the chinese and and yeah, that that's just not going to go down well because you know we're not going to not not going to listen to those damn commies. You that's know. <laughs> that's but, the that's the problem with politics everywhere though. If the other side has a good idea, the other side will never admit and has to fight. Yeah, but it should be that you go, yep, okay, that's cool. I agree with that. Right? What's yeah, wrong yeah. with that? We've, you know, this is not the Stanley Cup, the the Super Bowl, the the World Cup, the whatever. It's not a fight. It's supposed to be what's best for us. We have the vote. Don't well, it's, don't it's, fall into this shit. Think of yourself. That's the like, whole point. It's like that thing with the uh, what was it the, um, the 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 Democrats were putting forward a a bill that would help out on the border control thing. And uh, a lot of people in the Republican Party worked on the bill and they all agreed on it. Yeah. And then, but then the Republican Party decide, no, we're not going to support that yeah. that bill that would actually work. Exactly. Because, because then we can't point a finger <laughs> at the Democrats saying they're failing. Exactly. It's, 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 it's like these fucking yeah. political games. It's just not... Yeah. It drives it, me know, crazy. It it's drives not me crazy. It's helping the fucking planet. Yeah. Oh, come on, guys. Yeah, it, it goes along with the thing that I've always said. When it comes to elections, you should not be able to talk about the other party. You should mm -hmm. only be able to tell us what your party, your platform is. Leave that for the debates and the tabloids and stuff, right? But mm. I, I would like to actually know what you're going to do, not what you think of your opponent. And I don't even know how to find that info anymore without digging. You know, that's no, how no. fucked up it is, right? Certainly not with the uh, Republican Party these days. They, they really well, just no, no, they, no, just, let's not... No, hold no, on. No, I'm, Let, I'm no, no, saying, no, so, no. So, hold on, hold on. Let's not make this American because this happens in Canada and fucking everywhere else. Oh, oh, no. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's 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 
is left versus highlight- right. Yeah. It's prevalently highlighted in to- in today's politics. Mm. Uh, look at looking at America. It does yeah. happen everywhere else, but it's just at this moment in time. Yeah. When we're looking at politics, it be it Well, comes America, America is on stage, especially right now, due to Ukraine funding and one party versus the other and stuff. This is a polarizing and, and, thing. And, and the run up to the election. Right. Yes. Yes. But yeah. it is pervasive in all politics right now. Uh, democracy yeah, itself absolutely. is starting to fail because of it. It's not a fight, it's not a war. It's supposed to be people that are elected to do what we need them to do to make life good for everybody. That is lost now. Now it's and, a uh, again. Do, do do you think do you think things like uh, social media are to blame on that? No, it was lost before that. I think it was mm. lost by the time Clinton. No offense to him, got into politics that era. No, 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 no you offending know. anybody. You know. You know. But uh, the last time we had people that could agree from different parties was about the Reagan administration around then, late 70s, early 80s. That was about the last time that politicians could agree when they were on opposite sides, that era. Well, I think. well, yeah, but that's what I was pointing out. Is is you know this this border bill that was putting across that was bipartisan. You know, I know, people, I know. People were agreeing on both sides, yeah, but it uh, still you know, died. So, so it, it, it well, it died because the other, you know, no. I, Again, again, I'm, I'm I'm just you know don't want to point out point fingers again. But again, it was a Republican party who just refused it uh, because yeah. Yep. It, Let's let's it, not it do would fix it would fix things. <clears throat> let's not use American based words. Let's use right and left, especially far right, because that would be more um appropriate, yeah. right? Because that's what's going on. It's the the few in the far right in the UK, in Canada, in the United States and everything that are standing in the way of actual progress for all of us, the human race, right? It really is, you know, yeah, yeah, Mm. yeah. And, you know, you know, here, you know, we we always hear, you know, extremists, you know, like so often when, when it comes to the terms of like terrorism and things like that, but you know, our, yeah. our, our left wing, our right wing, you know, we have extremists on both sides. You know, there, there, there is, there is. So what, what's, you know. what's an extremist Democrat? What, what, what are they like? Uh, they just want to give hundred dollar bills to everybody who needs a drink. <laughs> Sounds great to me. <laughs> yeah. Che- I'll take two. <laughs> <laughs> I'll vote for that. Oh, yeah. 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 But, yeah, yeah. but and you know, you're right though. Like extreme Democrat, like you know, like you know, they get you know tied in with extreme, you know, uh, not progressive, but extreme. Yeah, you know, like it gets tied in with like socialism and things like that. Mm. And they're like, oh, now you're a socialist. Oh, look, look, Nazis were socialists, so therefore Democrats are Nazis. So it's like, uh, yeah. I, mean, I think I think the problem is, you know, uh, probably socialism isn't, you know, uh, isn't isn't that. A bad idea. But, Socialism you know, but, but, is but, but, an but, awesome but, but, idea, but it's expensive as fuck. If you yeah. apply it to everybody, ask uh, Trudeau and the gang, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no. I was just gonna, I was just gonna say that you know, if you, if you suddenly equate socialism to the Nazi party, then it's like off the door. Oh, <laughs> it's, no, it's like, we know, don't do it our way. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, don't exactly. do it that way. We do it the maple <laughs> syrup way. We're a yeah. little bit, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. It will, yeah. It, it, you know, that that kind of discussion gets like you know wound up really, really quickly. You know, we have, yeah. you have that sort of thing. You know, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It, and, it gets and, very, yeah. very difficult to talk yeah. about. Exactly, because people don't you know, understand the difference between you know socialism and you know democratic socialism, and you know people yeah. look at like Bernie Sanders and like, oh, he's you know no, he's a lovely the Satan, man. but but he's you know, but otherwise you know it's like oh he's you know no, just look at other things. You know. mm. Anyway, but, yeah, yeah, he wears mittens. He can't be that bad. Yeah, he's adorable. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's yeah. a very he's a very very clever man. From what well, I, I see, I'm a big fan. Very, very yeah, squeaky little right. voice, but he's cute. <laughs> I ran to actually be a be a delegate for him uh, way back in I think it was sixteen. Mm, yeah. Cool. There what, was when uh, you were sixteen. The, there was a guy. Um, uh, what was his name? Joe Clark. After Pierre Elliott Trudeau, uh, Trudeau's father, the guy that everybody actually loved. 
Um, uh, uh, there was this guy, Joe Clark. He was the uh, de facto prime minister of Canada because somebody left office. He took over and he never won the re-election, right? And he's mm. one of those guys who he had a lot of really good ideas. They just weren't popular at the time, right? So it was really funny. Um, I was old enough to enjoy the joke when this happened, but some... Uh, some rich asshole executive guy sent my father and a bunch of people this hardcover book and it had memories of Joe Clark and it was this beautiful cover and everything and you fold it open and every page was blank. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny as hell, you know, but that was in the day when people could do that. Without it being some, you know, I'm going guns in the street to fight the difference between the parties and stuff, mm. you know. Well the, well, the funny thing is, you know, uh, I, I know you were saying about, you know, the, the whole idea, you know, it shouldn't be, we just talk about U.S. US politics. Because the U.S. politics is, is kind of like so prevalent, you know, in, in the news. And it's like, mm. well, could, could, I mean, apart from people, you know, if you geographically name a country, can anybody actually place where the bloody hell that bloody country is in the world? Probably not. Well, can, I have a can, map. Uh, can, I have a globe no, right here. Yeah, Let yeah, me no. show you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, on the globe. On the globe, you know, you know, uh, spin it. Put your finger on it, and then, then tell me. Uh, then, then tell me uh, who. Who is who is in charge of that country? What and what are their political leanings? And nobody be able to tell you. You know that, that that's that's the funny thing. I mean, like I'm saying we talk about U.S. politics. We don't know anything about fucking Canadian politics. We don't know anything about Australian politics. You know, you as a Canadian know about Canadian politics, and an Australian will know not about so much Can actually. <laughs> well, yeah, well, you will know something, but again, you know, it's just like, again well, not I, really. I, I, Again, in you okay in UK, I'm I'm probably not much better either. But at least I've got some idea. But if you just have like a if you just pick a random place, uh, I think I don't think anybody would be able to say whether that country is democratic or or or, or it's a dictatorship or you know or it's socialist. Yeah, take communist. France for example, right? Well, <laughs> I'm fuck just knows kidding. What that I'm is. Just I'm still not. I'm still not sure. I'm still working from the uh, I, the, the revolution I, in the 1800s. <laughs> I love the French. Over the last 20 years, oh, you know the one. thing. No, the the way they've stood up and like you know, oh, you're gonna overtax our long haul truckers. We'll just burn down every fucking camera you have to detect that. Oh, you're gonna put points on our licenses. No, we're gonna torch and destroy seventy percent of your speed cameras and whatnot. I love that stubborn mindedness of the French where if the government decides that we are going to oppose ourselves and on your life a little bit too far, they flip their fucking lids. They, they have laws in France where you're not even allowed to eat your lunch at your desk at work because you have to fuck off and do it somewhere properly, right? You're not allowed to email your employees about work and shit on the weekend. I love the French. They are badass motherfuckers. No, well, I, I can I can understand the whole eating your desk thing, especially if you're French, because it's all that garlic. Yeah, know, it's all like, crumbly and, and stuff obvious. too, right? Pastry. You spill your wine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Got baguettes everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but the thing is, the thing is, you know, uh, uh, okay. So you love the French, and you love the, you know, uh, who is it? Who's in charge of fucking French? Is it Macron? I can't remember. Who cares? But, it's somebody who drives yeah, a Renault but, Five, right? You yeah, know? but but is but but is their government leftist, leftist or right? Could you could you answer that? I have no idea. Pretty but make sure that, they're that, left. Well, yeah, that's, that's 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 the point I'm trying to trying to say is is like we all talk like i say we talk about the american politics and we talk about left and right but anywhere else in the world we don't fucking even have a clue <laughs> yeah but i mean know. 
They're the French. So historically, won't they just give up surrender and go with the flow, depending on who shows up at their door? Right? Isn't that well, how well, it works? Well, well, well don't, don't, be a, don't be a royalist and go on that, <laughs> on that soil. You're going to get your head chopped off. <laughs> yeah. I was never I like, much of a history student. So don't get, you know. <laughs> I like it. it was, what was it? The Simpsons was like a future episode where Homer's like, yeah, we saved your butt in World War II. And he's like, no, nah, yeah, well, we saved your butt in World War Three. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah yeah you know but i, I love like you know you go through history they're like okay enough we've had it off with your heads you know what i think that's a good idea we're gonna do this for like 300 years you know <laughs> and they just you know ah yeah you know yeah so mention, mention that to the queen of canada yeah, I don't think she there's, acknowledges there's the French. Yeah, there's a revolution coming. <laughs> yeah, she has no respect for classic hot hatchbacks, right? You know, she doesn't get it. I mean, the thing is, at least she's tiny. You you won't need a, like a whole guillotine. You could just use one of those cigar cutters. You know what? You could probably kick her like a football. <laughs> I'd like to, <laughs> you know, is kick that, her like the old J five V, you know. <laughs> <laughs> silly old bat <laughs> here hold on a minute here let's get that face back up do you think uh, is, is that more american football or european football i'm seeing a bit of a roundness but if you go from the top of the tube down to the chin there's some american football hey, there you hey, know hey, that, australian that's not, that's not a toque that, that's that's a Aussie crown. rules <laughs> that's not a toque that's a crown Please be, be, be respectful to her highness. <laughs> oh, that's what they said. They guy to the guy they gave forty bucks to when he showed up on the con on the compound. Uh, be respectful to her high arse. Mm. Or was that a no? 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 I'm just looking at the text here. It is ours. <laughs> just you know we we do um we do pride ourselves on proper news coverage here so i wanted to make sure i got that correct yeah 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 we, we always get it just right perfect <laughs> oh yeah where accuracy is the thing of the past i'm sorry my queen yes three knuckles it is okay minimum <laughs> and oh, this will help. Oh. <laughs> fair, fair. Yeah. But is it the horse fist it? Yeah. Oh, hail the queen. Five knuckles salute. <laughs> I think you split her in half. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's what you call a puppet state yeah. <laughs> uh, give her give her the old jim henson <laughs> i wouldn't be surprised if there is some sort of weird sexual thing out there called the jim henson <laughs> oh dude i'm not putting that into google it's not you know. <laughs> That will ruin the ads I see on YouTube for like a well, month. <laughs> you can you can check it you can check it out on Pornhub Skits Crusher when you get to uh Texas. Yeah, 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 yeah. Through our twenty nine ninety five a month service to avoid the conflict. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You just be stick people drawings. You know? <laughs> uh what have we got? Oh my God, we've gone over two hours. Look at that crazy oh. shit, right? Sorry, sorry, folks. Yeah. yeah. My uh -oh. deepest apologies and condolences. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you could be watching this even better. God's yeah. sake. Tell your in laws you didn't mean to wreck the wedding, but you had to be here. You know? <laughs> and, and he was the best man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I still have beers. Um, you know. Oh, well, let's keep going. Yeah, uh, we probably could. Um, yeah, go for a, a bit more before my my dinner's on the way. Oh wow! What has <laughs> what what has um what has Chef um, Ramsay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is, is he coming up? Is he coming around? 
Only if he runs the local Popeyes. <laughs> That's too fucking crispy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you know. I, I, his mother must be real proud of him. <laughs> you know. Oh, yeah. He's really, really rich, but uh, such a foul mouth. I had to yell at him so hard when he was growing <laughs> up. <dude. laughs> I spanked his father many times for that. Made him watch. <laughs> <laughs> it's rough. <laughs> Oh, I bet she. I bet she called him a shit sandwich every now and then. <laughs> it must have. It, it, some of that must be, you know, <sighs> drilled into him as a child, right? You know, still one of my favorite memes. You know, the, the idiot, the the idiot sandwich. Like, <laughs> I mean, the thing, the thing is, he, he was a he was a football player, and you know, originally. So I can imagine a, a lot of that stems from just that environment because. They're pretty harsh on each other. Yeah, they. It's, it it's was a pretty hard. It's a pretty harsh. Environment. It was all said to him because he sucked so bad. He didn't make it to the big leagues, and he had to go and you know cook food. Right. That's probably where it comes I from. I can't remember what happened with his football career. I, I, I mean, I'm not too sure. I might have been an injury or something. I'm not too sure. Or maybe, or maybe like you say, he was just shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, don't I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> Uh, the, I, don't think, I don't even think he's that great at cook to be honest with you i i don't even watch his stuff um it's all anything that's labeled reality tv i just don't watch you know i i i i, I do end up watching a lot of cooking uh stuff on youtube uh and, i just uh, read yeah. the recipes it's quicker <laughs> true <laughs> it just <Fair>. is <laughs> true, but but some but sometimes watching it, yeah, I you know I, I made it absolutely fucking wicked Chezwan, um beef uh, thing the other night. Oh, it was absolutely amazing. Are you going through, that's, on that's, your box of noodles again? No, no, because it was with the rice this time. Oh. <laughs> Chicken, uh, yeah, fried rice. Uh, yeah. yeah, no, I've 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 learned a shit ton of uh, of of cooking from watching on YouTube. And, uh, and you and, haven't watched uh, a cooking show until you've seen Walk with Yan. Andrew Petrie, give me a shout in the chat. Walk with Yan. Come on, okay, Martin Yan. Okay, okay. But but like yeah, Yan can but, cook. But what what aside aside from Maybe. all that aside from that I think I think you do actually pick up some nuances of cooking from watching uh, people cook on YouTube than you do from a recipe book you know just following a recipe there's there's, there's certain things especially especially when people are cooking and they get you know uh, and 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 they give you like. Um, They'll, they'll give you like the recipe and they'll give you the measures of the, of the things you have to use, you know, a teaspoon of that a teaspoon. Of that. And then they just go, like, oh, I'll put three teaspoons in. Fuck it. I'll just make it up as I go along. And, and, and it's like, oh, no, I just realized recipes mean fuck all because what you <laughs> what you what you're doing is learning how to cook, not necessarily. Yeah, but following but following a recipe. But that doesn't work for people that don't have. um brains no taste <laughs> yeah yeah oh. you know it's like me i'm partially colorblind so leave me to design the t-shirt for your junior baseball team and people will be like wow what an eyesore you know yeah just it'll because be on, it'll be on black <laughs> just because somebody did it on camera and went oh we'll sprinkle it freely and whatnot <laughs> Doesn't mean it's a good idea, you know. Yeah, but but the, but the interesting thing is, you can watch one person cooking something and they just go, yeah, yeah, I do do it like this, and then you get some uh, another person who's got like you know this really extravagant method uh, method of doing something, and you go, what a load of shit. But just now, do, just, just do it the, the other the way the other. But guy now did it. you've got me watching videos all day just so I can make supper. I'm just not <laughs> sure I've got that in me, you know, like. I'm not, I'm not suggesting you do it. I'm still trying to get you to watch fucking Firefly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep trying. You know. and, there's, and, there's, and there's no recipes in it. Exactly, <laughs> like yeah. It. it has no macaroni, no cheese. I'm just not sure on this, you know. 
I always liked uh, as far as cooking shows like Alton Brown, who would actually get into the science of the actual cooking. Besides, I like making that. Something yeah. Awesome. Yeah, like when somebody explains to you that folding equals aeration, so puffy, right? You know, you know, I like that oh, kind of thing. Yeah. Well, then, then you have people like Heston Blumenthal. Do you do you know him? Heston it Blumenthal. sounds like Big a kind of cheese that they don't sell in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> no, is 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 a is a, UK, is, is a UK chef that takes cooking to absolute extremes he's like famous for like a uh, garlic ice cream uh, uh and just, just this really bizarre stuff that people just like, like chicken adore. shit in pancakes <laughs> but, but, like no, just... but no but he he does he does take cooking to a a, a, a a true scientific level you know in in the way that you know like airline food um they have to put like extra extra flavorings in airline yeah. food so you can actually taste it because at high altitude you, you just food doesn't taste like anything so you know there's there's, there's a science behind it and uh you know and he, he he takes it to like some extreme sometimes it's it's, it's hilarious but in, in, interesting stuff i don't I fucking i don't care i don't cook like him the only thing I want to taste at high altitude is a pretty stewardess so I can chalk the little tick marks off one of my oh boxes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I know how many wrongs I committed in that, mm. but I'm an old scruffy fart, and you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mr. Mr. Dawson, you haven't uh, joined the Mile High Club. Uh, we're on a bus. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We, have, we, yeah, we yeah, haven't got yeah. to the plane yet. <laughs> I'm waiting. What... I'm waiting for flying cars so I can find an old bent in a taxi. You know, I, for, I forgot what comedian it was, but he's like, oh, I uh, haven't had sex in an airplane, but but I jerked off in Colorado, one, Denver once. <laughs> <laughs> like... <laughs> it is 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 a joke for you, yeah, right? So my, my my wife found out that I got a secret safe, you know, because I'm you know doing all this decorating. Uh, recently, I took a picture off the wall. There's, there's a safe behind the, the picture. So my wife looked into the safe, and inside the safe was like forty thousand pounds and three eggs. And she goes, well, "What's that about?" I says, "Well, every time I fuck one of my friend's wives, I put an egg in the safe." <laughs> and she goes, "Oh, what three eggs in the safe after thirty years of marriage? That's pretty good." Yeah, but when I get a dozen, I sell the eggs, and that's where the money comes from. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> wow. Holy <laughs> fuck. And since Dunk's wife's in the hospital, we are fundraising right now. <laughs> We're going to break her out. We're going to yeah. build a tunnel. <laughs> See what these guys drive me to? Look at that. See that? Ooh, See that? Was that ginger? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going for the noodles, you fucking tool. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky boat number ones. <laughs> so. <laughs> um, I, could, I, could tell, I could tell me donut joke. Yeah. You know, you know what the funny thing is, is we should be canceled three or four times for every after show and pub chat we do, except all of our viewers are old fart <laughs> fucks and, and cool chicks and so on and just whatnot that just wonderful. laugh no, I think, along. I think, the, right? I think the words you were looking for are wonderful people in the audience. Yeah, no, I was oh, magnificent. Yeah. So, so much better than last week's. Yeah, I, I dug myself into a hole and had to really fly <laughs> out there with phoenix wings, you know? It was just, yeah, yeah. Sometimes one knows hey, look, to look, shut you know, up. Yeah, but they come to these shows, listen to, the, listen, listen to the conversations we had tonight. We talked about cooking. We talked about science and the eclipses. We've talked about cars. Uh, yeah, well, I'm sure you have talked about cars, you know, because you're on the show. And, uh, you yeah, know, talked about technology and all that. Yeah, there's so much stuff to learn, to get, you know, to, 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 to get those brain cells just, like, kicking into gear. Uh, we just got, we just, we just got everything on the plate. <laughs> Chuck. We're, 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 we're like we're like a buffet all you can eat buffet of knowledge 
And Chuck in the chat says with, it was with, best. with three twats running beer. In. <laughs> <laughs> A buffet of twat knowledge. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty Sorry. was served 12 beers and got royally fucking mm. wasted. Um, yeah. He was an egg. He shouldn't be yeah, sitting in the wall. Yeah. City sod. He went to bed with a dirty girl and had to go to the doctor in the morning. What, where, where's the best place to place an egg? I know. On a high wall. Best place to put an egg. That's and a great that, idea. Yeah. 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 It's... um. <laughs> It's uh, it's it's good for procreation and the the uh, and 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 explain to me that when the egg breaks, it falls off the wall and it breaks. What do you call out for? All the king's horses and all the king's men, because yeah. they're gonna put the egg back together again. Sure, I <laughs> would have it, called it, out for Little Red Riding Hood. She was yeah. looking hot in that outfit. Yeah, come I'd, on, I'd just make a fucking omelet. <laughs> I saw a funny. It was like you know, like Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. You want to have breakfast, an, baby? <laughs> a picture of an egg, like you know, going apple picking and like you know, going through a walk. <laughs> he had a great fall. <laughs> Winter was shit. Yeah, fall was well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Learned about opiates, didn't succumb to addiction, yeah. and had a great mm. time. Right? I had a great time. Mm. Yeah. He can quit whenever he wants. <laughs> and, and didn't get fertilized in all this time. <laughs> but his sister, virgin, virgin. <laughs> <laughs> Humpty Dumpty's babysitter sat on a wall. Uh oh. <laughs> I think Humpty Dumpty's babysitter sat on quite a few things. <laughs> <laughs> no, did Humpty Dumpty get fertilized? Yeah, no, yeah, but but the babysitter got paid an extra ten bucks. Has anybody extra seen quid? my gear shift? <laughs> <laughs> Not since you, you don't want that it. back. Oh, <laughs> uh, what do we got now? Okay. Two and a half hours, so we're 30 minutes past. So it can only get worse from here. <laughs> oh, we promise. Yeah, yeah. I I, I got up like five it minutes ago. It can't get worse. It yeah. can't get worse. Oh, I got up to get beer a few minutes ago, and right now I'm rolling one. So I'm prepared what, for beer? worse. Yeah. You're, you're rolling a beer? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's they work, man, many, yeah. many talents. They work. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, if you can roll a beer in a zigzag, you're in for something <laughs> special. Um, Cheech oh, and yeah. Chong would be proud. Oh, yeah. yeah. Try, try lighting it. <laughs> try, yeah. Got to use torch, man. Try to smoke a turkey. Hard to keep it lit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, turkey. Funniest piece of television ever in the history of the world was the WKRP episode. WKRP yeah. in Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where the the station manager thought it would be a great idea to drop live turkeys out of a helicopter into a crowd of people and they would just use their wings and fly down and everybody could grab a live <laughs> turkey and you know take it home for thanksgiving and they dropped like bombs <laughs> and they started you know, yeah, it was uh, dropping frozen ones yeah no, I, think, I, think, I think it must be because you talk about it on the show it got recommended in uh, one of one of my uh, youtube did it really no 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 i'm just saying the story behind it yeah yeah got yeah recommended and it, it is actually based on a true story no the, the, way you're kidding yeah yeah no the, the guy the guy um uh, I think it was one of the writers on the show. Yeah. Uh, um, it, it based on a true story uh, of, of of some state he was in where somebody did this kind of stunt. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. It, if you, well, maybe, they did. Maybe, maybe you can find it on YouTube, but they, it, there, there, there is actually a true story behind it. And it's they hilarious. did an episode where um, they promoted a concert and it was stampede seating, what we used to call general admission, where there was no um, des designated seats for a rock concert. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. could just stampede just in. Just go wherever, yeah. yeah. Yeah, 
And um, uh, they did a stampede seating. I think it was a Who concert, but I'm not sure. And it was in uh, Ohio where, uh, you know, the the fake station was Cincinnati, Ohio, right? And they wrote and put out an episode about that happening, a real dramatic, intense episode of that TV show inside of like 30 days and got it on the air or something. And mm. it was insane for such a crazy, funny show to hit so hard on an emotional level. All of a sudden it was very strange. It was good though. It was an it was awesome a good moment. show. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, 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 it's interesting that the, the show's history because it really wasn't doing too well until it just hit like a, you know, the right time slot. Yeah. Uh, and then it just like bloomed and then it and was that, gone and, that, and then they canceled it yeah yeah, yeah. four years right you know yeah just like firefly yeah well well no Don't even get like started. firefly it didn't even get a fucking chance it didn't even get a chance it got one yeah, season the, yeah they just, they just threw it into the uh the witching hour and nobody <laughs> saw it and the man they call jane oh. <laughs> Yeah, the hero of Canton, <laughs> the man <laughs> they call Jane. Okay, it's, 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 uh, you skit, skits. You got to agree. It's a, it's a fucking awesome show, isn't it? It's a great show. It's a yeah. great show. Yeah. So Dick, watch it because skits yeah. told yeah. you to, not space me. pirates. Yeah. It's brilliant. no, no. Um, uh, you remember Dunk? We were talking recently, and I was like, I had looked in on who's in the show and whatnot, and yeah. there's a few people in that show. I was like. Really? They're in it's that, a you know? Fucking great cast. It's amazing. Cast. The uh Deadpool's old lady is in it, right? Yeah. And 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 they all went off to off to do uh other stuff and you know. Yeah. Well, I think I think most of them are. Summer Glau is in it, right? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. She was a really good baddie on the the Arrowverse show Arrow. Yeah. She was really good for a season. Yeah. No, it's 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 a it's a great cast. A great, yeah. Okay, I can't, I can't not recommend it enough. <laughs> yeah. As as Dick will already tell you, because I've told you, how long has this been going on now? For about you know, every months? time we have 18, this conversation, eight, I put it off for another month. I can't yeah. help it, right? Is is isn't like eighteen months? You know, I sort of said, yeah, yeah you yeah. should watch this, and you go, yeah, I am watch it. But, yeah. yeah, I have a hard well, time with that, you know. Um, mm. I, I don't know. There's some, there, there's some, oh, I remember we had this conversation as well. I, I had this thing where I was expecting it to be one of those. Oh, comedy. Yes. Right. Yeah. And I can't get over that, that feeling, mm. you know, that I'm not a big fan of comedic science fiction, mm. unless you're talking about, um, Spaceballs. Uh, no, well, okay, Spaceballs, but Galaxy mm. Quest, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, because because yeah. I think I, I think I said to you that you know it's really funny, but it's it's not because it's funny; it's the wit. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's, it's, it's really clever. Yeah, and I like wit, right? Mm. That's a uh, you know, it's it's good. Not wit. yours, but good wit, right? <laughs> good you wit. Know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Quality. Yeah. Yeah, you, <laughs> Hey, look, I'm not I'm not written by uh, you know a fucking genius here, so you know. I wish you were AI at this point. Mm. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Be cheaper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> if, if the two of us, yeah, if the two of us, nothing. If the two of us were AI, we could share three quarters of fuck all together while sitting on the couch, right? So how do we know where you're not? Well, well, if, if, the, if the show was AI, if the show was AI, it'd probably be better. What are you doing? <laughs> It'd be quicker. No, oh. that's what she said. <laughs> no, 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 not in my life. No, never do anything in a hurry that could mm. take a long time. Trust oh, me. Oh, dear, can't you finish yet? I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, <Good> you can, <laughs> No, you can play that angle all you want, but that's just not my existence. It's not happening. Not happening. I got too many cock rings on. Oh, it hurts. Yeah. I've never heard that said to me ever. <laughs> Too much. What was what, what it? Fist it? Um, I know. Yeah, so, I, much, so much lubrication. I couldn't yeah, feel yeah. you. I only deal with our sponsors when we're live. I. Uh, <laughs> 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 
I'd you know what? Something completely different. Well, I, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I never <clears throat> first saw that gag biting me in the ass until that moment. <laughs> <laughs> you can I always, you can always trust things. us. Yeah. You can trust us to help. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> If you have we're insecurity, here, damn it, we're, we're going to exploit it. Yeah, we're here, we're here to support you, Dick, 100%. Yeah. All the if time. you want to see an example support of what dick. your friends can do to lift <laughs> you higher, <laughs> look for it right here. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you should you should see what we're really like behind the, the closed doors of the back chat. Oh, my yeah. God. Oh, yeah. my. The hatred. Yeah. I mean, we're the back you half should, of stupid, but it's still working out, right? You, know. <laughs> you should see how green the other parts of Dunk are. <laughs> <laughs> they're purple. What are you talking about? <laughs> they're so green, they're purple. Wait. Uh, Dunk, Dunk's kind of like a sheep over in the UK. You know, <laughs> he's always got that little colored spot right on top of his butt. <laughs> That lets you know what bull or what uh, ram actually gave it to him, right? And always running away from the Welshman. Yeah, yeah. yeah but, but I, I've got so many colors on my ass. I, don't, I, can't, I can't tell now. Oh, the, yeah. It's the rainbow had, sheep. They, yeah, they've all had me. He was a Union Jack 12 years oh. ago, but the <laughs> rainbow has expanded, right? <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's what, magically what's, delicious. What's that? What's that color, color paint dye on his ass? We don't even have an animal with that on it. <laughs> He's making it up his own fucking colors. <laughs> <laughs> See, you can do it to me too. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, e we're an equal opportunity exploiter earlier in this show. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> and I endorse that comment. Yeah, it's it, it's kind of like um, sniper target practice around here. Everybody's free game. Yeah. Wait, is that what sniper target practice is? <laughs> it is here. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's all lyrical around here. <laughs> So, um, if you had one wish that you mm. could pass on to humanity, what would it be? Now, I'll go first, just because I usually leave myself to the end on these gags and, you know, supposedly throw you under the bus. So, you know, here, I'll do it first. Uh, if, uh, if I could teach the world, world to smoke... To sing. <laughs> Strong marijuana. I'd make it legal for all you peeps to smoke it like I do. Composerary. <laughs> Horses. <laughs> At the age of 16, you are met. You have to sign up for the draft and you have to get high daily. There you go. So uh uh let's go to let's go to Dunk here. We'll give Skits Crasher a minute to figure this bullshit out. If if you were gonna wish your will upon the world and make everybody follow one rule, what would it be? Not lie. Ooh. That's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. No one can lie. The whole world would fall silent, you know. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Twitter, Twitter, from Facebook, the, you know, social media would be like, fucked. Everything from the highest politician to husband and wife to like, I ain't yeah, saying a goddamn yeah. word. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. 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 Trump would yeah. never speak again. You know? yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, I, yeah, I'm not. I'm not saying you have. You know, you 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 have to keep talking. You could just be quiet. Yeah, you know, yeah. Okay, too. <laughs> just, just you just can't lie. You know, just not oh. tell her. Yeah. Oh, Earth, Earth's flat. Oh, no, it isn't. <laughs> uh, ooh, uh, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'll yeah. just I'll, I'll just shut up and keep that as a quiet thought inside my head. Yeah. That's yeah. a good call, man. That's that a, a good really one. good call. Okay, Skits, that's a hard fucking frame of reference to live up to, brother. It's that all is, you. That is. Um, as I, I would, I would say, I would answer that with a quote uh, from Dwight D. Eisenhower. You know, um, I hate war only as a soldier who has lived it can. Well, see, only one has seen its brutality, its futility, its stupidity. I would wish no more war. Yeah. 
Wow. Good words. Good words. Good words. Let's do hashtag good That's, words. Oh, right? Man. That's uh, we should do this as a shills thing now. When somebody says something that actually makes fucking sense around here, hashtag <laughs> good words. And 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 that sort of, those sort of words, you know, coming from someone uh, with you know, ex military experience, that always weighs heavier. Yeah, man. Yeah, because because yeah. they know they know. Uh, uh, there, there was there was a film. Uh, was it you know by Dawn's Early Light? I think it was. Was it that film? But they were they were chasing down. They were they were in in a plane and they're chasing down Air Force One uh, with a you know some crappy president taken over from the actual president and yeah you know mm -hmm. and, and they're, they're hunting down the plane to, to to knock it down and the 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 pilot of the the plane they're chasing with the with the president on the the pseudo president was saying you know well they were saying you know we can we can we can win this war we can win this nuclear war and he was sitting there saying but aren't, isn't our job here to stop it? And and that was that was a brilliant line because this this was someone in the military, and of course you just think the military, yeah, they're all war hungry. No, he, he saw his job was to prevent war, and and that uh, that that just like you know, oh, that's, that's goes straight to the heart of that one. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's always great to hear peace coming from the talk of a ex military. Yeah, person. man. So uh, coming up uh, tomorrow, we've got the Starsky Show Ukraine update, and we're going to carry on the hashtag good words thing when somebody says something that really hits home, mm. right? That's going to be a shills thing now. Hashtag good words. I like it. Yeah. It's simple. It's to the point, and it really hits, right? So um, I've got one beer left. So... We could do a one more beer live, which will be about 18 minutes for me because it's really going down well now. Um, or well, do, we you want to say, or do you want to save it, you know, when it kick back and watch something? And yeah, I, I was going to say, you know, everybody could shift over to the Discord and do a hangout, but... You know, it's getting a bit late here, and my son's home in the morning. I'm not going to be there, you know, <laughs> right? You know, when this is done, I'm going to bed early tonight, and mm. I've got to be, uh, yeah. you know, I've got to I've got to be that guy in the morning. I can't do this. Well, right? you, could take, yeah. you could take I your beer. I got a fundraiser and, uh, in the morning, too. You could uh, take your cool. beer and not watch Firefly. <laughs> you know, watch speaking it, of which. Watch it, watch it, watch it. I started watching Watch Battlestar it. Galactica, the remake Ugh. from the 2000s, and I had fond memories of that show in a lot of ways, but in re-watching it, it's not as good as I remember in a few ways big time. We'll have to save that for like a pub chat. Yeah, but, the, the, um, there's, some, there's some good stuff in that, but there's some series parts that it gets a little bit dull. Oh, it, well, not even just dull, but some of the whole foundation of morality falls apart and it's kind of you know oh yeah it's nowhere like when you binge watch it and you're not waiting for it you find yourself skipping through like yeah uh, yeah yeah and then you get to the big point and you're like oh for fuck's sakes you've got to be kidding me <laughs> how manufactured is that it's uh, it, it it's not holding up you know but well no, like i said you, you know you, well, you got the, well they're, they're rebooting it, so we can look forward to that. Oh, here we go. You know, Glenn A. <laughs> Larson will be an executive producer again because payments, mm. right? Yeah, you know. <laughs> even though he's been dead. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, who's got what to say about nothing for some reason that I can't confabulate? Uh, Skits, what do you think? Hey, um, <clears throat> thanks for having me on. I'm, I'm having a great, you know, I had a great night. Uh, it's been fun hanging out with everybody this, this, this fine evening. I, I definitely want to be around more often. This is, this is a great time. We like having you around, buddy. So let's do that for sure. Appreciate you, brother. So, Dunk, um, uh, 
push it to the limit, but God, don't make me cringe. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, you know. make him cringe <laughs> and, and watch Firefly. So I was I was down in the pub the other day and uh, met a couple of my mates, and uh, one of them said, you know, uh, oh, I just been to this great prostitute the other night. Oh God, she was so hot. You know, you know, and uh, so I went down there, and uh, she put a donut over my <laughs> over my oh. cock. Fuck. And uh, and she she ate it off my cock. He's going, oh yeah, that was amazing. And the other mate goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I, was, I know I know her. I went I went down there. She put a donut over my cock. <laughs> put 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 cream all over the top and sprinkles. And then she licked it all all the cream off and let the donut off. It was fantastic, fantastic. I said, yeah, I know her. I know her. So, because I, 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 I saw her and she put a donut over me cup. She put cream all over it, sprinkles. She put some cherries on it, little, you know, crushed, um, you know, strawberry bits and, you know, you know some chocolate sprinkles on the top. I said, it, was, it, it, it looks so good. I ate it myself. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Oh, the data joke came out. Oh, finally, yeah. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you Try so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hit, the, hit the like on the way out of all the thumbs down just for that joke alone. And the so moral well. of the story is this is what not to do if a <laughs> rabbit shits on you. <laughs> <laughs> good night everybody i yeah. love you all i love you all especially you teresa you're lovely and uh, i would everybody, what hey, hey i would love to say something that makes sense but obviously that left that's, the building about 90 minutes ago yeah yeah but two hours ago yeah <laughs> yeah two and a half hours but how long have we gone <laughs> three <laughs> So good night, everybody. Thank you, everybody, for all the super chats and all the all the love and everything you give. Because you know, it, it really it really just means a lot to us. You know, just even just the fact you're here just to watch us. You know, we just yeah, you know, we really, really appreciate that. Yeah, you know, don't forget to uh, you know, bring oh. some, bring, go out and bring some more little oh. muckers to find. Uh, what, let what? me say a thing. Sorry, sorry. Let me say a thing. <laughs> There was Go a on. couple of moderators that are popular on certain Ukraine channels. So uh -oh. if you uh, used to be a moderator here on the shills traditionally, but you're not actually in touch with CF Beauty to be like an actual moderator on the channel, you're kind of like a legacy moderator. Um, Sorry, we're going to pull that away from you because there is so much danger with people losing discord servers and accounts and stuff and whatnot we're kind of paranoid about that happened to us twice sucks real ass so um if you want to yeah. keep the bluetooth wrench the only person that doesn't have to worry about that is an a and a but every other one of you you know people if you're not in touch with cf beauty it's going to get wrenched from you because we can't take the risk of shit getting into our live chat and it affecting the channel and that's what happens right it's scary and, shit and also thankfully we don't necessarily have to moderate this uh the these shows that much Everybody is pretty much well behaved. It, you know, we, yeah. we're not getting like, you know, shitted on all the time. So yeah, but even good. still, we have to be paranoid as fuck. Uh, a couple of moderators that are big in the Ukraine support community got hacked today and all hell broke loose, right? I'm oh. not, you know, yeah, yeah. So, you know, this is a big deal now. So we're taking it seriously. So if you're not in touch are. with CF Beauty and you have a blue wrench for the channel, you don't anymore. <laughs> Sorry. You know. Mm. Again, it's, so, nothing, it's, it's nothing personal. No, not yeah. at all. No, it's just easier. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it, but it's, but it it's is easier to start you know? from a blank slate yeah. and bring people back. Then yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, just it doesn't, it doesn't stop you being part of the show and being part of the community or anything like that. No, all. but it, and if you want to keep that wrench, just get in touch with CF Beauty and be a mod. Right, it's no mm -hmm. big deal. Right, but we have to know and we have to have it compartmentalized now. Mm. So. uh We'll hit the credits where we don't have thank yous in them for this show because when you're drunk, you don't talk through your own credits. 
So <laughs> let's say big thanks to <laughs> CF Beauty who runs everything and stuff. And uh, CF Beauty. Yeah, we got, uh, you know, good call. CF Beauty. We got BME, Shayna Caldwell. Shayna has a slick, hemi powered Mopar monster appreciation in the chat please uh we got something blonde pj cena and N -A -N -A. so thanks no, everybody no 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 yeah no 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 hey <laughs> goodbye <laughs> hey you no, know I, what i was i was thinking more uh, my chemical romance but never mind uh, <laughs> Oh, I had one of those once. Yeah, it didn't end well. <laughs> okay, so uh, tell your mother that you did really good tonight and you weren't hanging out with us and you'll probably get your allowance. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. Stay shitty. Boom.